All right, this is episode 8 of Wolf's Guard. Last time in Wolf's Guard, we find our adventurers uh, travel towards the Isles of Fiogisia. Uh, as uh, Ronin was contacted by the head priest of the Golden Temple, saying that a representative from Fiogisia has uh, been claiming that they must return the chest that was commissioned to the golden temple to create the chest that supposedly contains the mirror that holds an ancient red dragon um so the wolf's guard with ronin and antoine uh oh is antoine antoine's there too yeah driving the ship yeah yeah uh, he's um, with us uh go to fugisia and <clears throat> the wolf's guard meet the uh, firstly, they meet Xanthippos, and they meet um, the rest of the court of Fugisia. We learn that Fugisia is mainly dominated by Fire Genasi, and um, the Archons are two twins. They're called the Archons uh, Vasilius, but their individual <clears throat> names are um, Vivian and Valerie. Valerie and Vivian. Yep. Valerie and Vivian. Good job. Good, good job, take, people who take notes. Uh, <laughs> they claim that um, the chest was stolen from them and ended up in the hands of Ronin and it must be returned to them. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth and <clears throat> finally Ronin decided to um, give the chest to them, hand over the chest to them, and it was later revealed that the chest did accept the blood of Api Zudel, which was also revealed to be part of uh, the of Fugisia's high court. Uh, so, uh, herein lies the question, is Api Zudel the real Zudel, which makes your Zudel a false Zudel? Um, as the party is leaving the this like what looks like a open theater type of situation um and they're going through the the caverns and tunnels underneath fugizia xanthipos turns around and says to the group that uh no you are right uh your zudel you are not <clears throat> a false Zudel. And that is where we continue. <clears throat> After some time passes, when this uh, open theater clears out, uh, you guys return back here, making sure that uh, no one else is left here. So it's completely empty at this point. And Xanthipos uh, stands in the middle of all of you and begins um, <clears throat> saying to you what he knows. He will say, We do not have much detail on how the mirror found its way here in Fiogisia, but it is true that our people have been its keepers for centuries. And in one such time long ago, a mage who bore the name Zudel came to our isles, lived as the locals did, and then rose among our ranks. This mage was the grandfather of Api Zudel. It would be he who would bring the mirror to the Golden Temple. It would be his blood that would bind the magical chest. So although, yes, it is true that the blood of Api Zudel would then be accepted by the chest, what is not true is that you, looking at your Zudel, are a false Zudel. It is they who have stolen your name. It is they who are false. I oh. knew your father. So let that sink in a little bit. Xanthipos says, I knew your father, addressing to your Zudel. <clears throat> he then continues, Your father was a kind and humble man an honest merchant trader. One day on his tr sea travels, he and his crew had found a wreckage of a burned ship. 
And on that wreckage, under a pile of wood and rope, he had found me, a scared and hurt child I was. His crew wanted to leave me for dead, saying that I was a bad omen. But your father, he was kind. All that I am today is because of him, and I am sorry that he was not able to raise you as well as he did me. I know we have only just met Yurzudel as he moves closer towards Yurzudel. But I must tell you, your father did not mean to abandon you or your mother. He had a responsibility here. But it is my understanding that because you are his true son, you have the power to be just as great as he. Believe in yourself, you must. You have dragon's blood that flows in your veins. And not only that, you have a Genasi's fire. As he reveals that uh, Yurzadel's father was not only a dragon, but a fire Genasi as well. So, what? Yurzadel what? is half elf, half fire Genasi. Yurzadel's not even here. What happened? <laughs> oh, damn it. What happened to DJ? What happened? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yes. So it's his mom who's an elf. an elf? Yep. Wait, so his mom is the elf? Yes. The dad is Fire Genasi, Dragon. but also... Dragon is the Zudel. Is the Zudel? Yeah, yes. but aren't Zudel's elves? Are they? I don't know. Yeah. Are they not dragons? <laughs> I think or so. Something? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe he was half too. I think Izadel was like an elf. Yeah, he's an elf. Um, I don't know how this whole thing. You yeah. know what? Genetics is weird in fantasy land, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And <laughs> the reason why uh, it's called high fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> also, dragons can choose what race they yeah. like poly, like morph into. Is, is it polymorph? The opposite of polymorph. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So low monomorph? <laughs> they yeah. can shape uh, change. Right? Shape change. So like my how is Urzi's dad related to Isadel? Is he like an uncle? Are they cousins? Uh, I, I me personally, I don't know because it's not my character. <laughs> like DJ can Got decide. It. DJ can decide how that whole thing works because when DJ played Isadel in Knife in the Dark, I had thought that he was also gonna play like Draconic Sorcerer, but he went with. <laughs> He went with Shadow Sorcerer Shadow. instead. So I don't know where the dragon comes in later in the line. So yeah. big, Got it. Yeah, big reveal within the first 10 minutes of the session. <laughs> well, let's see I can't wrap my head around it, man. <laughs> uh, so now you know why the the chest opened to um, Apizudel. Is because the blood that was used was used to bind it in the first place was by was from his yeah. grandfather, yeah. and it was his grandfather that stole the name Zudel. Zudel. Yeah. When you say mm. stole, you mean like magically stole or legally stole? Or like like they identification just, theft. identification theft. It's identification theft. Identity oh. identity theft. Yeah. So okay. uh, Xanthipos here he did not. Yeah, he, he did not mention, but he could mention that uh, Yurzadel's father was kind of a, a simple man, like uh, who was part of the of Fugisia, right? Basically, a local here mm -hmm. in Fugisia. But um, he didn't share that Yurzadel's father himself was also claiming to be a Zudel. Maybe he was also keeping it low key, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, but. Uh, Xanthipos will mention that the reason why Zudel's father needed to stay here was because he knew that the mirror was, you know, uh, being guarded on these aisles. And uh, 
uh, Yurzudo's father was kind of like also watching over it, but from not like from the same distance as uh, Api Zudel and his grandfather, where they were very mm-hmm. close to the mirror and the chest. Yeah. Because okay. do like do we know if like Erzi's dad is like mad at the Api Zudel side that basically stole their name? Um, I think Xanthipos could share that um, at first he was shocked and <clears throat> um, he wanted to like reveal to the rest that oh this is this they're not the real Koan Zudels. But um, he also thought that oh because someone else is claiming the Zudel name that means my cover is not going to be blown anymore. Because someone else yeah. is claiming it, so it worked out it. for him. Yeah, he just went. He just went with it, and got it. And so, which Zudel has all the lands? I'm just getting the real. <laughs> <laughs> um, Zantibos will say that although uh, your Zudel's father um, went by a different name, a name that I did not, I have not come up with yet. Um, he himself, because he was a merchant trader has some like property and assets to his name uh just not the zudel name let's think so. of a pronoun like or a like a usadel or something <laughs> <laughs> a vowel you mean another vowel <laughs> oh oh, there was, oh there's, there's, yeah because there's like an izadel a hezadel a weezadel <laughs> she, she's a there's a <laughs> hymns Adele already though. yeah hymns Adele. yeah there's a hymns Adele. <laughs> Should- <laughs> Shadel. <laughs> them Zadel. them, them oh Zadel. where's dj <laughs> what happened call him oh, yeah. oh, dude uh, I'll ask him, but, but yeah, but uh, you know, they, they, they could, there could be like a, a rift between the Zodels, and there's gonna be a, a Zodel Grand Mall, and then there's a Z- <laughs> <laughs> what? Like the guy said, the guy said, no. So we are, we arrive in the land of Car Car, and we discover there are two Zodel Mall. <laughs> <laughs> the the <coughs> Zodel Capital and the Zodel Grand Mall. <laughs> what? Zodel, Zodel South. Zodel oh, South. God damn it. <laughs> um. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, I, will, I, will check. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to like re- react or anything until like he's here because it's like. Yeah. I'm holding my reaction though. God damn <laughs> it, DJ. What happened? What happened? What happened? And then, like, if it if it is like Kevin Shadell, like Kevin. over the years, it's just turned into Shudel. It's Shudel. just like it just sounds like such a basic name after because mm. he's trying to go like super just dis- I don't know undercover. Yeah. Shudel, I mean bread. Shudel. <laughs> Shudel. Oh, it has it has to sound a little bit. Greek or Roman, because oh yeah, 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 oh yeah, because of fumigation. Yeah, <laughs> so you can just add like an X at the so Shudelix. <laughs> yeah, Shudelix. That sounds like one of those um the characters in the Asterix, Asterix comics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh God, I can't. I got, I got one. I got one. Shudelix. Shudelix. Amuka oi. God damn it. Okay, so Erzi's father was a fire genasi um, who is the a uh, true Zadel, yeah. but decided not to um, reveal it. Say that he would reveal it yeah. um, while guarding the mirror and then allowing these fake Zadels. So if they're fake. Mm. What? What? Who? Who, who are they? Uh, like, who? we don't know. <laughs> just yeah, people well, with ulterior motives. <laughs> yeah, shootle of the apple shootles. <laughs> apple uh, Also, 
Um, you... DJ. Okay, DJ's back. What, what did you miss? <laughs> did you miss everything? Just. <laughs> oh, just everything. Oh my god! What did I miss? Oh my gosh! Oh, what did you miss? <laughs> what? Did, rocks what fall. Everyone's rocks dead. <laughs> Wait, what, what fell? That's what I. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we were we were yeah. I'm so sorry. I need I I wanted to record in the same time um uh with the camera because we we were surprising my aunt and then and then um the disconnect and, and discord. I yeah, and then I was in a Discord call, so I can't record. Like, uh, cannot. Okay. So I have to turn it off and then record the, the happy birthday and uh, this Yay! Anyway, happy birthday. yeah. So I'm back. Okay. <clears throat> um. Let me just read through my script again. So, cuz I want DJ's DJ's reaction. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, Xanthipos will say um uh, one times uh one one such time long ago a mage who bore the name Zudel came to our isles. He lived as the locals did and rose among our ranks. This mage was the grandfather of Api Zudel. <clears throat> it would be he who would bring the mirror to the golden temple. It would be his blood that would bind the magical chest. So although yes, it is true that the blood of Api Zudel would be accepted by the chest, what is not true is that you, addressing to your Zudel, are a false Zudel. It is they who have stolen your name. It is they who are false. I knew your father. You got that? Oh my god, I got chills. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then he continues to say, Your father was a kind and humble man, an honest merchant trader. One day on his sea travels, he and his crew had found a wreckage of a burned ship, and on that wreckage, under a pile of wood and rope, he had found me, a scared and hurt child I was, and his crew wanted to leave me for dead, saying that I was a bad omen, but your father, he was kind. All that I am today is because of him, and I am sorry that he was not able to raise you as well as he did me. And then he will move closer to you, Yurzudel, and he will say, I know that we have only just met Yurzudel, but I must tell you, your father did not mean to abandon you or your mother. He had a responsibility here. It is my understanding that because you are his true son, you have the power to be just as great as he. He will put a hand on your shoulder Believe in yourself, you must. You have dragon's blood that flows in your veins. And not only that, you have a Genasi's fire. <clears throat> As he reveals to you, Lumi, that your father was a uh, dragon, which you know, uh, but he was also a fire Genasi. <clears throat> to Verzi or Lumi? To your Zodelia. And to the all of you can hear this. <clears throat> so Janasi. That so would uh, that me. would explain why he's so obsessed with the fire. Fire. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I'm part Janasi? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're half elf, yeah. half half fire Janasi. Now I oh see. God. He's Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any anything else you wanna say, Rizadel? Copy ID, let me change this. No? The rest of you, what do you guys want to say?
Okay, if I'll, I I have some questions for for Zan. Okay. Uh I want to ask uh Zan do you have any idea how exactly the box ended up in Exoria or is it also unknown to you? Uh <clears throat> he will say that as far as what was revealed earlier, which was last session, um mm -hmm. that was accurate where um they think one of the stable stable uh was it the forge assistants were yeah, was an i was actually like a spy from um he uh, they think it's from amar which is the red the red dragonborn um yeah. uh place because the red dragonborn um, um city is the closest to fugisia man so oh. all, all they had to do was like cross cross the the short sea between yes. Fugisia and and you know Amar and then pose as one of the the forge's assistants and then mm. steal steal the chest and bring it to Exoria and then okay. uh eventually it ended up in Azrak where the scale breakers you guys uh found it mm. yeah Okay, and uh, I want to ask him, uh, do you know what exactly Apisudel plans with the box now? Is he planning to unleash what's inside the mirror? or? Okay. <clears throat> um, he will reveal to you that um, Apisudel as well as the Archons and a few of the people in the High Court um, hmm. um, have plans to um, support... Weaponize? Not, not so much as weaponize the dragon yet, but use it as a like a leverage in their political... Um, ambitions, right? Because Fugisia is very... Um, their strategy is more political, not really like brute force, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. with... Uh, and it has been that way for for centuries. That's why, yeah. like, they've been guarding the mirror for for centuries. Not everyone know, knew that it was with them, but Whenever they would feel like they would be back to a corner in a deal that was not in their favor, they would reveal that card. They would be like, "Oh, are you sure you wanna you wanna mess with us? Because we have a fucking red dragon." <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. You know. Um, okay. so, so as of now, uh, I know as of like recent years, uh. They've only been using it as like a bluff mechanic, right? Yeah, like, yeah, as, a bargaining chip. Yeah, bargaining chip. But Xanthippos now reveals that uh, since Apizudel has been involved with uh, a group of powerful mages, and he will reveal to you that the name that this group calls themselves, you guys uh, recently okay. called them like just the collective because that's what... Uh, uh, Basil um, referred to referred uh, it yeah. as before, but Xantipos will say that they call themselves, they call these group of powerful mages that Apizudel is part of, they call themselves the Scaled Cap. Nope, not the Legion. Nope, no. Oh, okay. they, they're called the Scaled Cap. The Scaled Cap. Wow. Hmm. Yep. Wait, they call themselves the scaled cap. Yes, mm. like like scales of a dragon. No cap Very... like cap like like a wizard's hat or like a pointy that that. that. <laughs> no see, cap. A cap. No, yes, a cap. Hat. Very much cap. Why? Why? Yeah. Are, is the, are you? Is this no cap that they are called the scaled cap? Or... They are called no. It is. Uh, 
I think it's because majority of them are mages, so they they use the word cap to as in like the wizard's hat, pointy hat cap thingy, and scaled like because of dragon. And I don't know, maybe with the the chest in their possession, it only it's only part of their their theme and their goal. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Ian, what do we know about like how rare an adult ancient rare dragon is in this current period? Like, is it the only one, or is it what? Like, it's so rare. Like, are dragons so rare? They're quite like, rare. Some... I, I right. think uh, Ronin can answer that question. Yeah, <laughs> Ronin can. Have... Uh, actually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> dragons aren't that aren't exactly they're quite it's hard to encounter dragons outside of exoria but in exoria they're quite common actually some of them would you know leave exoria and go to other places which would explain why one would encounter dragons so yeah they're not exactly very rare but uh your chances of outside of Outside of Exoria, chances of them being rare increase. What's what's rare are uh, dragons that, <clears throat> that are that old. Like ancient dragons yeah. are quite old, and dragons, yeah, exactly mm -hmm. that have have sentience no, or like um, are smart, <laughs> smart mm -hmm. dragons. Because uh, the dragons that the dragons that Ronin is talking about in Exoria. Um, a lot of them are were not found in the wild. They were created by um, a, a second wave of dragon breeders. Yeah. Um, so they they drop common loot. Okay. What was that? Huh? Well, they they drop common loot. Sorry, it was supposed to be. A oh, joke. they drop oh, yeah. common loot. They do. <laughs> they do drop common loot. Uh, yeah. uh, what does Zan? Uh, let me ask that. So you mentioned uh, this group called the Scaled Cat. Yeah. Cat. Uh, what do you know more? Do you know more about them? And what can you tell aside from like the Talic? Does the Inner Circle, the the Archons group, they, do they know about this group? Uh, Zanth says that uh, they do. And um, he says that he speculates that the Archons... Um, Vasilius are um, siding with the scaled cap and supporting Apizodel and the scaled cap. So they know about them. Yeah. And uh, when Apizodel went to the, the Feywilds, um, that was like, you know, the. Commissioned. Yeah. They were in <sighs> cahoots. But Zan uh, Yeah, Astra. Go. Uh, Astra will, will look at San Fippos and say where do, where do we go from here? Do we try to reveal that Apizodel and his ancestors are imposters? Uh, how do we do that? Yeah, I feel like have... we have very <laughs> we have few allies here in F Fugitia. Yeah, Xanthipos will yeah. say that that not is to not true. The leaders are against, are not a big fan of us. <laughs> exactly. Xanthipos will say that uh, that's not true because not not the entire uh, inner circle and high court are in uh, co coordination collaboration with the scaled cap and Apizudel. Um, at this point, um, the high court, especially in the earlier exchange. It was important for the Wolf's Guard and Ronin to give hand over the chest to appease the nervousness of the the people in the High Court and Fugisia so that you know they have their bargaining chip back. But now that that is complete, you can um, now uh, basically like um, like challenge or like reveal reveal the <clears throat> the schism that's happening right under their noses right 
So, uh, basically, the Wolf's Guard and Ronin and the Scale Breakers um, proved that they can be trusted as you guys handed the chest over to them. And now you guys and your voice could be heard in high court. And you may reveal like any issues that... Uh, Okay, Rafi needs to go to the bathroom. But but you get my point, guys? Yeah, basically, <laughs> we did our part. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, our responsibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if we didn't give it to them, we would have been dishonorable and we would have been charged with, you know, breaking Yeah. the agreement and law and whatever. Yeah. You mentioned that... <laughs> Not everyone is on board with Happy Dell and his recent twists with the scale weapon. Is this a serious issue in governing the city or in the inner circle? Um, Xantipos will say that um, it is common for the inner circle to have secrets that they do not share with the outer circle but it is uncommon for the inner circle to keep secrets amongst themselves uh so for this to be revealed that the archons are working with the scaled cap will definitely create um friction within the inner circle and the high court and there will be um, consequences that will be demanded from majority of the inner court and it's um, if there is evidence enough to support like our claims that the archons are uh, working with the scaled cap that is enough to enough for us to usurp the current archons of Vivian and Valerie Wait, sorry. How do we how do we usurp the the Vivian and Valerie? Um, we have to prove that they are uh, allied with Apizudel and um, in turn got it got allied it, got with it. allied with the Scaled Cap. So just bringing down the whole order. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're always sure. just saying. not just the individual. So Firol will just say, I mean, knowing that they commissioned the desecration of the uh, Feywilds, he will say, then this shows they cannot be trusted. And then he will ask Santipos, right? He said, um, so the mirror, it was never, uh, do I know that the chest contains a mirror or i just uh, uh Zan... i don't right but it's I just a chest to me i think zan I think re revealed it no. okay 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 yeah so uh so Firo will ask the mirror it was never his responsibility why did his family choose to take upon that role in the first place uh apizodel's grandfather Yes, he asks Xantipos. Um, Xantipos will say that he did not meet Apizudel's grandfather, but uh, he did meet uh, Apizudel's father, which basically ka age sa... Uh, no, not even. Basically age niya, man siguro, Xantipos. Mm. And... Um, there was a difference. Uh, the personality, the personality of Apizudel is closer to his grandfather than Apizudel with his own father. His own father was like not as responsible, like really didn't give a shit. Uh, uh, but you know, like at this point, the chest was just almost always kept in, in like the deepest um, parts of the of Yogisia not really seeing a much light of day uh, but only when Apizudel came to power 
and like rose in the ranks in Fugisia, um, he started piquing more interest in the chest. And I think it's a, I think it's a power thing. And he wants to move the bargaining chip from Fugisia to the scaled cap, right? Mm. So that the scaled cap will, as Basil shared to you before, it's like their goal is to bring about the the end of Tarin so that the rightful, you know, uh, um, people to take care of the world would be the gods because because we mortals could not take care of Tarin properly. Okay. Um, okay. So so we established that them getting this is bad and that the scaled cap is not good. Okay. So. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So whatever is in that mirror is something that can aid these mages. Uh, can we, yes. Can we trace it then? And then it says, this truly is a lot of information to process. Mr. Zen, if that's okay, I can call you that. Why are you helping us? I mean, we did hypnotize him in case you, yeah. We no, cast a question on him. Oh, uh, the, the whole... What was it you cast on him again? I forgot, actually. Was it suggestion? Suggestion, yeah. Yes, sure. Can, I check that? Can I check that spell and, again? And when Lumi said that uh, he phrased the order, like, uh, telling us the truth would probably help, like, you know, but prevent Tyrant's destruction or something so I was guessing that Pacing convinced him to like spill the beans because Xanthippos actually chose to fail that save and he's just been speaking uh, oh. truthfully this whole time he's on your side oh I see okay okay and uh, Xanthippos uh, this has been going it sounds like this has been going on for quite some time. I'm sure you were not the first to have noticed or to have allowed this, correct? Um, it has not been happening a long time because Apizudel's father did not care so much. And um, Ap when Apizudel rose to power, he, although he did show interest in the chest, he was acting as an upstanding citizen in Fugisia for uh, most of his early life. Only in these recent times, in the past year or so, <clears throat> wherein it's become more and more malicious, and um, uh, now with, their, with his, like, basically like the past year of him whispering in the ears of the archons you know tempting them of what power they could have and now that the Ar now the archons are swayed right it's become a problem uh so xanthipos is helping you so that um the archons do not choose to like give up their bargaining chip because then like um where what would happen to Fugisia, right? He's afraid of that. He's afraid of what will happen to Fugisia and its people. Can I ask, um, San, if there's an actual group of people who's having have the same doubts as him with regards to how everything in Fugisia is being run? Yeah, yeah uh, like a rebellion. Uh, half of the people in the inner circle are like, um, they actually uh, put their favor in Zan. So where, uh, especially during their like political debates and when they're deciding like uh, their uh, like important decisions for Fugisia, um, the voice, like important voices that would be heard would be like Apizudel and then the one who usually opposes Apizudel is Xanthipos. And then oh. the, the inner circle and the high court they usually get split between, you know, Apizudel and Xanthipos. So, so Sam didn't really need the suggestion then. Because no. he's basically 
is not in the same wavelength as yeah. Happy uh, and this, okay, that's really good. So are you saying there's a big chance um a civil war can ensue? Um I he says that ideally it doesn't get to a to that point where it becomes a civil war. His his hope is if we were to to force a divide, it has to be kept within the high court. And then we we solve that resolve that issue within the high court. And then if there is a turnover of power, um, we reveal that to the rest of Fugizia and Fugizia will just accept the new high court. <laughs> really? Uh, I mean, in, not in, as in, not that easily, but like uh, the think think of like uh, in House of the Dragon, right? When the king died, and then they just crowned a new king, and they're just like, "Yay, yeah. we have a new king!" It's like, it's like yeah, no, it was it, 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 like manipulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the people didn't have to like got get divided and fight each other yeah exactly I, know. It, it, the, the, I think the best way is to coerce them in a sense that gives them an information that would lead them all to, to um just be persuaded to listen to the other side you know yeah, yeah. and also i'm very much against causing a civil war in a country because lots yes, of people could die for no reason and yes. that's it's it's more yeah. collateral damage i i understand that's even worse that's, yeah. we're trying to we are um basically trying to find ways not to reach civil war yeah so can we tell and he says something like but guys we are allied or we are sort of cohorts is it Atendor, right what china quits kalumba the wolf's guard right ah. like they are basically belong to a different political atmosphere and to meddle with another um you know government yeah yeah that can be seen as like um aggression or you know we, we must choose our actions wisely or we should at least um yeah ask for the blessings yeah. of our ask for the blessings of, of, Athen, of, of prince columbus or you know okay. king columbus for that okay but uh also xanthipo that's a good point you bring up, but Xantipos will remind you that you guys were invited to Fugisia. So if there's anything that you can do, it must be now because you guys were invited here. Uh, if you decide to like um, leave for a while and then come back and then the fighting happens when you come back, then that can be seen as, you know, you guys invading and like it. It was. It was. I know. Order. We should not do that. I don't think that would be wise because if we leave, and then um, if we leave, it, it the the optics of it would be like more like it could like this country is supporting this one. At least, at least we're already in the inside, right? There's no reason for us to go in. Yeah. yeah. Is there a way we can just send a message? Exactly. Uh, we you... could have someone do something. <gasps> Yeah. Lumi looks at Aster and Ronin. I know Ronin doesn't have only the selling stone of Palayan. I think she's is out. No, 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 I'm here. How do we send Is it possible to is use it possible to send a message to use Prince the Galuba. suggestion but for a multiple people Mass of the inner court? Uh do I have suggestion? I don't think I have suggestion. <laughs> But, uh, do, do you have sending to at least alert Columbus and Athena right now? Or... Yes. Um, yeah, I can, I can, I can send. Okay. I can send. Right. Mm. I well, will. What do you tell them? Um. Gosh, how do I? How do? I... <laughs> so it, it doesn't have to be 25 words just okay i'm i just basically explain um trouble in fugisha um imposter and archons uh are are involved in cahoots uh with the scaled cap um do i we're requesting your aid in this so mm. that we don't release a mysterious 
international incident. Yeah, uh, so that we don't I cause think the an international way incident. To say is like permission to fuck things up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna fuck things up? <laughs> okay, so basically, Asina will will get your message and then she'll respond in kind. She will say, um, "We cannot send aid for uh, that will be seen as an act of aggression uh, from from yeah. our country." However, since you are already there, if it comes to If shit hits the fan, uh, you have you can you can fuck shit up. <laughs> um, Astra I says. We see the self defense. Yeah, We're yeah, not yeah. being aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astra, Astra is holding um, like her amulet as she's kind of communicating. She says, "We've received permission to fuck shit up." <laughs> is it self defense? We're kind of plotting here. Fearwell <laughs> just smiles, man. <laughs> By obviously, the, way, the, way, obviously way. the queen has uh, allow has said it in more delicate terms, but she basically means we can fuck shit up. Good. <laughs> yeah. Right. Damn. I think Wait, we now. have them. Yes, we have the blessing from our patrons. Would you happen to know how we can proceed about finding more information on? Uh, Xantipos will say, uh, allow me some time to gather what evidence I have and uh, later, um, after, maybe after like supper, you guys can meet him um, at the steps of the... He will say like at the steps of their um, uh, at the steps of the high court's temple, basically. So it's uh, that's where. I'm sorry, I I I, I sorry, can, can you can can you say it back? I was I was in a in a immediate uh, thing. Can you call, call? What did you say? Sorry, I missed it. No, noted, noted, Rafi. Mm. Um, Olympia. You know what? Let me think about this. Where, where are the Angrid Drafiba? Where, how far is their reach? Like, how many agents do they have? Is it all? Are they all over Tarin or specific? locations lang I always imagine grid is basically Tarrant's version of like the CIA so they might have pl- like a few plants there in uh, at least they would have a few plants in Fiogicia since they know what kind of country this is so. Scotland Yard <laughs> Okay yeah. Um Olympia and and Grid will respond and they will give you um they will tell you that they were able to intercept a a a signed like document Uh-huh. By the Archons of uh, the Archons Vasilius, <clears throat> that um, hmm, let me think about this. Okay. Let me think about this. Uh okay. So they were able to find um uh what's it called Gani a job 
a job. Fuck. An inside job? No, no, no. Diplomat. Job, job contract, job, job. Uh, work work for hire agreement job whatever job anyway. order <laughs> job order there a job order okay yeah. they so. uh grid was able to find a job order uh that were checked off and signed by the the archons and the job order were like two lumberjacks and carpenters to uh-huh. make a uh, large tents for what seems to be a circus or carnival. Okay. And Aronin doesn't know this, but the Wolf's Guard know that um Yeah uh, the, the 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 carnival, right? Yeah, Where Tamil Tamil Ra. Odessa was using Yeah. Okay. So that can be mm. used as uh evidence to further solidify and cement the involvement with the archons and the scaled cap not just uh directly aiding apizudel but also aiding odessa okay when i receive this information i tell i share it with the wolf's guard but i don't tell them that uh, you know i receive like i'll tell them all oh, right I uh, I have received intel from a few trusted sources that uh, there is also this document, a job order, that uh, allows for the construction of large tents for uh, for a carnival. Um, does that ring any bell for for any of you, Wolf's Guard? Uh, Astro will just look at Lumi. I look at Lumi too. <laughs> Luna just smiles. <laughs> yeah, um, Luna will just give Ronin a big smile and he will say, um, yes, that is two weeks ago, right? not two weeks, last month for us. Uh, there might be something in there to build a case against the scaled caps. Yeah, because there are a few uh there are a few uh associates that have intercepted a signed document that allows for the construction of this certain carnival so if we could get it we could pile up the evidence against api xanthipos xanthipos will say uh i can go to the uh Fuck. He'll say that uh, he'll be able to look for a copy of the job order, and uh, when he meets you guys later, in the uh-huh. in the steps of the high court's temple, um, he will have that as well as any other evidence he might have uh, to cement the involvement of the archons with the scaled cap. All right. Did yeah, you, what about you, the mentioned about the carnival? Do you know where to find us? Yeah. Should should one of us accompany Xantipos just in case? What about the former uh, the one with um as the one at I'm sorry, at Astra's uh Basil. At Mistra's Basil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Do you think yeah, we can also get a confession from him uh, with his That's involvement? So far with, away uh, though. Yeah, we're we, very far away. <laughs> Tap, send <laughs> more sending <something> through Mistra. <laughs> uh, what can we? I'm trying to figure out. Just, just to add, just to add to the. I don't know. We certainly can build several uh, cases, and we have the means to back them up. Uh, personally, from our experiences the past few months. Although this does not address the current situation we have in Jail Geisha, I suggest that we um, start building on this and then we long when we can follow this up. And for the meantime, let's try to bring Apisadel and the distrustful archons to life. Uh, Astro will say that uh, she could try to uh, cast sending to talk to the high mother at uh, the temple of mistra so that 
um, they can get information. Um, but uh, for now, it would be best, I th uh, she thinks, if um, we can try to follow Apizadel to sort of like see what he's up to. Maybe we can find like actual evidence of, of them colluding together. Uh, so that uh, we can like show that like this is all just one big conspiracy um, at the top. I sound like a Q and honor. Um, <laughs> just one big conspiracy. <laughs> I mean, that's a good idea, but uh, do we know where exactly Appy is right now? Mm, as Asher says, that should not be a problem. Uh, uh, oh, right, wait, I don't know. I tried to d f locate him before. Uh, you are, you are all thinking too much about magic. <laughs> we have a nose that oh. can hurt him. This is true, my friend. Torian probably can find him faster than I could cast my spells. Let's, yeah. Right? I mean, I, I did... I did took some of his blood. Maybe we can have Thorin sniff on the blade I use and then find him. Will that work? Are you guys suggesting that we will look for physical evidence ourselves? I mean, we might as well, right? Well, waiting yeah. for Santivos to gather some evidence himself. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's better to have more. And on deck, in a sense. Yeah. I think if we arm ourselves with even more evidence and more ad information, we could piece together a strategy to take them down. Besides, I have something that could help us spy on him. All right. What would that be? Oh. Um, uh, Ronan pulls out like a huge wooden staff outside of his bag of holding. And then he tells you guys... This is called the Staff of the Woodlands. It will, there is a spell here I can cast that could essentially make us very hard to be detected. And then mechanically wise, I can give you guys plus 10 to stealth rolls with the staff. <laughs> and oh my God, this would be so useful yeah, for, uh, for Hyrule yeah. and Astra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Fearwall will smile and just say, oh, good. That means I conserve my energy. <laughs> so, yeah, so I tell Torin, uh, Torin, go truck. Torin will uh, give a grunt home and then start smelling the, the blade from Ronin. Uh, can Torin make me a uh, very barely your war forging? Uh, wet. Okay. How does this nice. tracking work? Uh, fairly well? um, is like survival he, check. Is it? Uh, yeah, survival check. He can make a survival check with advantage. Yes. Uh, he he does all survival checks based on. Uh, sent with advantage. Cool. Can I cast guidance on him just for the extra? Sure, sure. sure. Okay. There. Uh, we have the same modifier for survival. I'll just use mine. And sure, I'll... go for it. Advantage and 1d4 guidance. Yeah. I forgot to update my stuff. Yeah, uh, 29. Wow. 29. Very easy enough. After Torin <laughs> smells the, the the blade, sniffs the ground a little bit, uh, goes to where uh, Api Zudel was earlier, like around here, and then he howls, uh, finding the scent, and he immediately bolts whoosh, into that one direction. Uh so yeah Xantipos then says alright then I will meet you after uh, shortly after dark at the steps of the high high court's temple alright alright we can now 
Julio, Julio. Follow the wolf. <laughs> um, I honestly did not prepare a stealth section for this and where you're gathering <laughs> and whatever. So I actually don't know. Like, uh, that's a very good role. I'm sure you will find um, Api Zudel. But now I'm trying to decide what he's actually doing. Uh, hmm. so he's he... bearing his soul to the Arakun. <laughs> His plan is his everything. Plan. <laughs> no, so I'm sure he has the he has the chest on him, and then, uh, would he be with the archons? Let me think about this. Why don't you roll a die to determine where would he be with the archons or in the privacy of his home? Sure, let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna roll a. Our 1D2. One okay. is he is with he's alone and two he's is alone. he's with the Archons. Okay. He's alone. Okay. Ooh, he's he alone. is alone. Uh <laughs> this is <clears throat> Okay. Uh this is what I want to happen. So you guys see, see him alone. I maybe he's like, cause the the underground cavern system is quite like it can be confusing, right? It's it's like multiple tunnels and passageways. It's almost maze like. You find him in uh, a dark and open cavern, and mm -hmm. let's have everyone make stealth cho <laughs> stealth stealth checks, please. You have plus 10, guys. <laughs> Oof. Plus 10 is 18. Okay. Yeah. That would, that uh, would have been guys, bad. I'm, I'm, dri I'm driving. Um, I'm driving now. Heading home. Okay. I really oh. need. I really needed that plus 10 because I rolled a nat 1. Oh, good. Wait, why did you roll twice? You rolled... I'm at a disadvantage. Oh, shit. To oh, 13 for you. Shit. 13. I have 13 39. <laughs> I'm super stealthy, man. <laughs> yeah. Nine. You disappear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, 39. It's ridiculous. Astra's like necklace. Oh my god. Haru also rolled in that one. But oh, it's a 12 now. 12, I'm a 12. That's a 12. Uh, okay. Oh, Torin, Torin. I think it's so there. fitting that, th sorry, that sorry. both of us rolled that once. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me pull up. Oh, Torin stats. rolled a 22. So, yeah. He's That's also. Like... The giant wolf is also. <laughs> stuffy. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Hang on while I figure out his perception. Oh my god. I don't think Astra and Haru make it, to be honest. Allah. Uh, you guys are clanking, right? Yeah, Damn. we're clanking. Well, like, I think Astra, Astra will be clanking, like, her, her amulet will clank against, like, her armor. My metal, yeah, all the, all the metal. Yeah. Uh, wait, the Karu, yeah. Right, right, oh, yeah, so. And my gold, yeah, my roll. coins, not to mention them. <laughs> <laughs> my trunk. <laughs> Do we notice if he noticed us? Uh, actually, um, I'm not sure if he does, because <laughs> wisdom is a dump stat for... Wizards, Ooh. but let me let me just check. I'm looking at like multiple uh, stat blocks and trying to average things out. Okay, he may be smart, but he is not wise. Ast Astro Astro whispers to to Lumi, "Can we try to at least make us look not uh, like we are? Like maybe um, we're." As Lumi seems like Haru is clanking, Haru bit specifically, like, ooh, like, here's the clank, clank, clank of the armor. He touches Haru 
the entire bed turns invisible. Turns into oh, what? Turns into what? Invisible. Oh. Okay. Oh. I don't know. I, I I heard turns into an owl or something. I I don't know if it's if it's no, turns into a ball. <laughs> I don't know if it's trauma, but I heard turns into a goat. <laughs> it's trauma. It's trauma. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, from I'm I'm looking at like four different stat blocks for like different types of mages, and they all have shit perception. The highest is at thirteen. But like one is at ten and two are at eleven, so it average around it averages around twelve. So does Huro? So Harubid rolled a twelve, so that's just yeah. like uh, like just Har- made it. Uh, yeah. So you guys get to. Oh, so I really need to do that then. You guys get to like the little opening to the the dark cavern that he's like in and then um the 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 quiet the quiet people are like you know um really close to the wall and then they're they're um they're very quiet and like careful and then astra comes in uh and then like i don't know pushes haru forward and then haru almost trips forward but then as Lumi, uh, as Haru is like falling over, Lumi extends a hand to touch Haru, and before Haru hits the ground, Haru turns invisible, and um, uh, Apizudel turns around, hearing the thump, and then looking at the cavern opening, and then he inches towards the cavern opening. Before you guys hear, uh, what what is it uh, from a sending stone that he is holding? Uh, and then he will say, and he will say, I I thought I heard a thump. It's anyway, and then he continues his conversation. Um. Would you guys know who he's speaking to? Uh, Astra is gonna go, like, she's gonna breathe out a slight sigh of relief. And then she is going to cast Enhance Ability on herself. Nice. Okay, can you do that discreetly? Is there a verbal command? There is a verbal component. (laughs) Can I whisper it? (laughs) Enhance Ability. Uh, I will allow you to whisper, but that means you'll have to make another stealth check. Will oh. you risk it? Oh no! <laughs> you're already uh, you're already you already saved from the initial stealth check. Okay, all right. Okay, if I've already saved, then I won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because your uh, your roll was thirteen, right? Yeah, thirteen. Yeah, it was just Haru who barely made it. So, and Haru was at twelve. Yeah. So you're chill. What role do we need to make to figure out who he's talking to? to? Yeah. Um, I would say investigation would probably do it. Investigation check. Yeah. Am I investigation? The yeah, smart people here who are intelligent. I am not. <laughs> I definitely am not. I'll try to, but. I'm not sure if Ronan himself will recognize, but I'll try. Okay. I think Lumi is the smartest one among the wolves. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I rolled not one, but it's a 10, but still. Wow, guys. Is there a stance? I have no idea who's human said, so it makes Is there a spell that adds plus 10 to investigation? <laughs> <laughs> No, but like if if you guys had the feet uh, observant, you would be able to like read Ooh, lips yeah, and no. like observant feet, man. And like so you... that was that's perception and investigation, right? Yeah, or even yeah. like keen sense, you would remember everything you. So if you, mm, yeah. man. Oh my and gosh, it... guys! Oh my god! Okay, so negative one. So everyone okay. rolls kaput. 
You guys don't know who he's yeah, talking it's too, to. It's too Astro? dark. I, I can't Astro? see clearly. I, I don't know what he's doing in the dark Astro talking roll, to someone. Maybe uh, she okay. would... Astra, you can make an <laughs> investigation check. Did I miss... I'm here. Tatiana, can you just roll investigation? <laughs> yeah. I rolled a no. nine. Oh my no. god, you have a plus no. five, dude. So wow. I have a roll? Yeah, investigation. See investigation. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we all rolled hot doo doo. Yeah. By the way, Katiana, we found out that Urzadel is part fire genasi, part elf, dragon. and and a dragon. Um, and um, his father is the real Zadel, and Apisadel is an imposter. Oh, okay, so an established again. All right. Yep. We just need to so... prove it to everyone else. How do I roll investigation? Exclamation mark. Yeah, investigation. Investigation. Oh my god, please roll another. I hope you roll. Oh, oh yes! Oh yes! yes! What is a fuck? miracle? Uh. <laughs> What's You're actually pretty smart, dude. Yeah, yeah, she's actually pretty smart. Plus five. Yeah. All right. So, you guys hear <laughs> Apizodel having this conversation on the, on the Sending Stone. And he's saying. He's saying things along the lines of, I have the chest. Uh, the Archons are on our side. The fools. Um, so uh, he himself is also like, you know, tricking the Archons. Uh, <gasps> and <clears throat> Katiana... And the rest of you, you try to like figure out who he's speaking with, but only Katiana can remember. This is the voice of. Voice. Uh, hmm. What's what have you been doing this whole time? <laughs> this is the voice stealthy. of. Yeah, Katiana's been being stealthy. This is the voice <laughs> of. Shit, do I want to reveal that? Do I want to reveal that? <laughs> Shit, man. Okay, this is the voice of... Um, wait, let me check my notes. I might be wrong. Okay. The voice of your father. The voice of... <laughs> Ataya. <laughs> hang on, hang on. It is the voice of Urzabel's dead brother. Alive. <laughs> 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 oh my god, no! Can you imagine? I mean, they have a necromancer on the ranks, you know? Oh, what the hell? No, this <laughs> is... This is the voice of Opal, Astra's closest friend. What?! Oh my god! The... Wait, 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 what? Opal? The... The... Oh, the oh, yeah. this. Basil the got to her, man. Oh my god, Basil really did get to her! Oh my god, she's been... Burned. You know... But only man was that. Oh my gosh, girl, is the dick that good? <laughs> yeah, she's been you know? <laughs> well, it acts like vines, dude. <laughs> what I knew it. I told you to check the prison cell thing. Sorry, my map is still loading. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so shocked. So he's been working with Opal. Uh, I mean, that could have been god. that could have been a recent thing, or oh, you don't know. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Maybe but Katiana's recent? like, girl, that's Opal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think Astros just could like it could never enter Astros like. Realm of possibility yeah. that that could be Opal, and then Katya's like, like, "That's Opal." That's Opal. What are you talking about? That's Opal. Yeah. <laughs> we got. So we're still in the Instagram pad. And don't talk. You mean we're still stuffing? Yeah. We're we're still stuffing. Yeah. The gas was like mentally and <laughs> No pal of mine. I'm joking. <laughs> Okay, so oh, after that, what do you damn. guys? What do you guys do? You guys want to continue trying to listen, or uh, yeah, I would, I would, yeah, I would. Just listen for now. Okay, um, is there a way to record them? Is there a way no. to what? 
record? Wait to record. Pero record is like a self phone, not a cell phone. No. Wait. There's no recording technology, unfortunately. Not yet. We will wait until he says something very incriminating, no? Yeah. Um, anyway, we can have a telepath read our minds uh, just to, you know. Yeah, yeah you we, guys can be like yeah. both under the zone of truth and yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So lots of options. Okay. <clears throat> He'll continue the conversation and then after saying that uh after saying that my business is done have you completed yours and then opal will respond uh basil will be free by the end of the day oh my god who's basil who's basil the guy that we captured a long time ago and then like he tried to take uh astra's best friend remember we fought him in the desert yeah i don't think i was there when you guys fought him. okay dude, hydra hydra man dude you were... oh no she was oh, there okay. you were there you got oh, hit okay. by the hydra and you got yeah. pretty sad about it <laughs> oh okay 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 so, so remember he was like, join me, my love. And she's like, I don't know. And Astra's like, yeah, he'll, n- she'll never join you. But she did. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. I knew it. I never shipped them. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, Astra. I'm Opal sorry. was dickmatized. Yeah, she was oh, dickmatized. And yeah, so sad. Well, if it's very good dick, you can't blame me. Yeah. No. No, is it? <laughs> He's old. <laughs> no, man, good. He what only about... looks old when he when he moves when he his life. When he transfers his life essence to other things, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you know, yeah. like maybe that's why his dick's so good, because he just you know yeah, he was just goes to plants, like nearby plants. Yeah, yeah. To to invigorate himself. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. God fucking damn. We... <laughs> the lore has uh, deepened. Yep. <laughs> Apparently, Basil looks like a full daddy. Um, yeah. We just don't know it. <laughs> God damn it. Anyway, um, Man, um, so so much revelation. So Opal said that uh, she'll have Basil free by the end of the day, and oh my God. um. They're planning to reconvene soon, uh, the scaled cap. And um, he, what else will he say? Af- uh, Opa will ask if he'll stay there in Fugizia. And then uh, he will say that um by the time i leave there will be no fugizia left oh yes that's yeah. it that's it okay you guys leave yeah yeah did you get that on record I, i'd like to ask now like, would because they mentioned like so i'm going to ask dm no uh yeah since you mentioned mangyud sila about um the convening point blah, 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 where they'll reconvene and reunite do yeah. they happen to mention where uh they did not uh they're quite okay. careful okay. with these things or uh they would mention it but in code so code. Yeah. yeah oh damn yeah so they would say like oh we rendezvous at i don't know bird's peak yeah. and and then you know just use jar- garbled whatever okay so, so they said the winning line. Shall we get out of here and present our cake, or do we want to? I think uh, so. DM would that be enough time for Sun? Yeah. Enough time has passed now, so yes. we can meet with Sun, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Then let's go. Let us. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. You would like. You'd like leave the caverns, and then there will be some time for you to roam around the city, or like make sh- or like plan uh, what you will be saying. Uh, there, you'd okay. have like another hour or two before you meet with Zan. Okay. Yeah. We should we should discuss then how we will present our case. Uh, 
So I was thinking we willingly put ourselves in a zone of truth and have one of them read our minds just to be super sure, you know. Does that yeah. sound good? Or do you guys want to, uh, I don't know, make a speech or something? I was ready to capture episode of then and there. <laughs> I mean, we have to first make sure that the archons like are on our side, and you know, convince them that no, apparently Akusudo wants to blow up the country. Um, Astra will be still super shocked, and then she will say, "I have been sending letters to the high." What I thought was I was sending letters to the temple asking about Basil. It was Opal who was replying back saying there was no information. She's been keeping my letters. Then... And, uh... and pats, uh, sorry, Lumi extends his hand and pats Astra in the back and says, There, there, we... When everything comes to light, justice will be served. I am really sorry about your friend. I know that you two go way long. But if there is any way for us to save her, then we shall find her. And Wait. towards Ronin, uh, Lumi will also say, as much as I want to jump on a physical after his words of discrimination, uh, discrimination I would like to secure the artifact first. I think without their bargaining chains, without their bargaining chip, we they will have less cards. Right. All right. So, so they have the chest. So, but we don't. Hmm. I mean, we don't. Do we? Do we still have time to like? Try and get the buffs. We have like one more hour before meeting Zan. Uh, I don't think so. And if you were to do that, it doesn't look good in, f like, uh, in front of the eyes of the. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Archons. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell that to Lumi. Like, that's true. Securing their their bargaining chip should be high priority. It will. It's a bad idea, or uh, in terms of long-term planning. So we'll have to approach this delicately first. I think we should convince them first before we make a move. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, All right. We fast forward to when you go to the. Steps of the high, the high court's temple. Yeah. yeah, that is a change map. Okay, everyone, take a water break. Okay. Do we, where's the owlbear link again? Sorry, um, it's at the top. Um, here, I'll put got it, it back. Got it, got it. Oh wait, are we moving? We are moving. This, yeah, this we're moving. Oh, okay. Oh, so many <laughs> reveals. What? <laughs> I didn't expect Opal to be a traitor too. Wow. Yeah. Me too. But I knew I knew we should. We we I wanted to t to check on that pr prisoner. Yeah. Okay. She and she I guess she likes the bad boys. Yeah, but we yeah. couldn't. The problem was we couldn't get a confession out of him, and we can't get a re information out of him through sending Mangud. Like, there's really yeah. no. There's really no way he would confess or say anything to us. He didn't even say anything to us while we were in front of him. How much more? Oh yeah, we could get a reaction when he when we say scale cap. Yeah, but you can't get a reaction from him through sending, dude. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Not to, but then again, Opal was is you know yeah. not reliable. Well bathroom break super quick. Yep. Okay. It's so sad. It's so sad she was stigmatized, you know. <laughs> Guys. Stigmatized. Yeah, and, and the interesting thing about it is 
she hasn't really shown what she can do. Like, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. It makes me curious if Opal is also like one of their members now, or I don't know, or just like an ally. Maybe she's an ice wizard. <laughs> Char, we have a trial scene here. Secret pen pal. <laughs> well, before I forget, uh, no, I'm gonna give something to Katiana. I'm going to give her this item called the. Uh, the Helm of Awareness. Ooh. Because when you wear that, you will have advantage to your initiative rolls. Oh. Uh, yeah, you need it, dude. Yeah. yeah you're assassinate. When you wear that helmet, you will become woke. Do I put in my inventory? Uh, yeah, just just take note long in your inventory, you have a Helm of Awareness, then uh, that will last until the next day, man said, so, yeah. Why? Well, yeah. uh, DM, can I summon uh, yes. some animals Thank ahead? You. Yes. So, what I'll be summoning would actually be a small version of Thor and Claw, mm -hmm. and they're actually quicklings. Oh, oh, nice! Small, as in less than five feet. Uh, let me. They're tiny, dude. Like the like lies and looking. Let me check their stat, because they're they are tiny. Wow. <laughs> You want to helm of awareness? I'll just, uh, I'll just send you like a note of what it can do here at Lucha. Okay, Ra, okay. ayo na lang Mel kay it's just advantage on initiative rolls and it only lasts a day, so. Yeah. Okay, uh, alright. Just note na lang that if we fight, you can have advantage on this. Alright, alright, alright. I'm summoning shit. Sorry, so what? I'm summoning shit. You're summoning shit. Okay. Summoning... You're summoning shit. shit. What? Summoning I'm shit. Gonna summon, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna summon my greater steed and. Um... You're going to summon. You're going to summon Wayne's greatest headaches. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> What's your state, dude? Uh, I'll put it up in the map. My god, how do I... How do I import? I'm so excited <laughs> to use hey, these quick... Let's do this. It's so much fun. Ready? See... Ready! Haro, Katiana, Yurzido... Someone terrifying. Terrifying. Wait, hold on, hold on. Everyone's... <laughs> everyone's ready for a fight. <laughs> We're ready. No, I just want to show my, my, my uh, power. My power is a scale. I have, like, my... My, my, um, my conquering presence. Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys doing a fight? No. Are you yet. still driving? No, just, I'm just. Preparing. Yeah, can you keep me updated? I'm actually in a pharmacy. I'm heading home. I'm near how in the house. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. It's okay. Magstriya pa man. Chika chika pa man. Chika chika. Chika chika. We're having a we're having a trial. Um, I'll just ask. Uh, wait, no. Yeah. So this is flavor wise or maginilang appearance. So quicklings. Uh, have dagger attacks and they can throw the dagger, so I can just play. Can I flavor that as them like shooting claws? <laughs> sure, yes, <laughs> let's do it. Claws will be shot, yes, they're magical anyway. So, no, no, like, uh, like 
like when they swipe at the air na ay mo gawas ng more like energy yeah, air, air, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. yes yeah air daggers yep um dm yes before we like like right we went and talked and everything and then we went down there yeah um can i uh can i give um katiana so uh astra is gonna bring out her uh dragon vessel mm. and it looks it looks like a hollow dragon's tooth Ooh. um and then uh she, like um basically like a green shiny liquid kind of uh suddenly appears in it and then she pours it into an empty flask and she'll give it to katiana so katiana oh, you will get a potion of greater healing wow so, so that I can heal myself. you can heal yourself if i can't yes, get I to you am. in time <laughs> Okay. I'm just gonna find a griffin. It's my griffin, and my favorite familiar is Skippy and Cloud. What? What? Sorry? What? What? I know. Is that a griffin? Are those are those ants on this in his head? Head. Sunflowers. 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 That's so cute. Where, where, where's the echo where's coming from? Yeah. Is it cloud? Is it cloud? Cloud? Haru I think, I think it's, it's Haru. 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 Yeah. Haru, yeah. Deb's not an echo. echo. How do you know it's Debs? Quancha. Because like her her uh her thing lights up, but I don't see her talking. Ah okay. Wala na. I, I can... Wala na. Wala na. Okay na siya. Who's that big guy in front of San Tipos? Um, That's a warforged the mech, right? Yeah, created by this guy. This by guy. The Ghana na ni mo pets serial, right? Kaya bayad ni mo sa vet ani. That's no way. That's no. You know, you know, back, complete back boxing, Tony. Like, Tana na. Complete, complete boxing. boxing. <laughs> you know, you know, Muriel. Back in my homeland, there is ano vet benefits, <laughs> like nice <nigh> healthcare <laughs> for animals. But aren't your animals like orcas and stuff? <laughs> yeah, only if they breathe underwater. <laughs> oh my God! I remember the Marites uh, joke. Like, oh my God, Akuman is only useful in water. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, Akuman can't go again. He's only useful in water. <laughs> Faita, the useless of uh, Zada. <laughs> Member of the Justice League. <laughs> How are you going to reveal this conduct? Ooh. That's from Iliad and Odyssey. I remember Hector and Ajax. Yeah. Damn. I'm just I'm just giving them Greek names. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know I only like learned in very recent years, and I mean like maybe two years ago, that the cleaning product Ajax. Yeah. Is named after Ajax, like the Greek, Greek? hero, because hero. he he cuts grease. Oh, oh yeah. man! She's stronger than Greece. He's yeah. stronger than Greece. Isn't that? But um, oh my but god! Um, <laughs> well, I was two years old. Man. Yeah. I was yeah. Um, yeah. That's nice. That was actually pretty good. I win. Sorry, before I got cut off, Tanina, but you wow. you said you wanted to try diving. 
Uh, no, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I have a, I have a fear of, <laughs> of deep of the water. Ocean. Yeah, because a lot of shit can be under there, dude. Like, yeah, but, but when yeah. I go down, I, I keep imagining like, oh my god, barracudas. <laughs> no, no, bar- barracudas are too deep in, like maybe 20 meters in. And okay. Like, no. You won't see it at 12 meters. At 12 meters, you see all the little mermaid stuff. Like Nemo's, and Got like it. Dory's, and a needle fish. Maybe a lot, tiger fish. Are you Honestly, home? I still can't get over the fact that no, that's it, that's it. no crab actually looks like Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've never seen a crab. I've never seen a crab underwater, pa. Raven. Sebastian looks like a lobster. <clears throat> well, yeah, but he doesn't have a tail. The Sebastian looks <laughs> like looks like a turtle with with pinchers and like sharp legs. Yeah. Okay, about like the way his head, his head comes out of his shell, yeah. right? Yeah, his head comes out of his shell. And then he can tuck it inside like a yeah, turtle. Yeah, it it has pincers. There's no such thing as a red crab. No, he looks like a lobster. No, there are red crabs. Yeah, they're red. Yeah, they're like yeah, Christmas. Really like Christmas crabs are red. Yeah. You know what? I want to eat king crab. Mm. I want to eat the king big one. Leg. Uh, getting uh, getting hungry <laughs> talking about crab. Yeah. <laughs> crab legs. Salah get ni ni kwan. Why do you have to bring up the little mermaid, dude? So <laughs> mellow. No, the nine kwan Wayne short dive sa Maricon don. That's two five. That's everything now. Your equipment, your tank, your lecture, your dive master. Got it, Marigondon. Oh. Yeah. So, but I think you're going, okay? Going away with me. Sige, just so sige. that we can dive. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want a boat dive, there's one in Potengan, you If you want a boat dive. Niya mo nang laum. Dili lang ko sa laum. Oh, dili lang ko sa laum. 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 12 inches. You'll never get to the end of the day. 12 inches. Oh my god. One foot dive. 12 inch dive. Can I mag fly? Mag hit that. Bro, mas linga mo go dang boat dive. It's nice when you jump. Like Sean has seen it. Like when you jump off the boat. It's more linga for me. Like I like boat dives. They're just more mahal because you know. I left like mga 15 minutes ago because I had to go to the to the pharmacy. Are you home? Um, I'm 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 still driving. But can you tell me na lang the back the back story at least? Inas ko magask later sa balay. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, man. 15 minutes backtrack lang. I also... Oh, wala, man. Opal is working with Apisodel. Yeah. Hindi na ako kutup. Opal is working with Apisodel. Wala ko katong after I found we found out about Opal. Wala ra. Wala ra. We're wala. just preparing pa. We're, we're oh. planning to present the evidence. Yeah, yeah. present evidence we're... to Vivian ah. and Valerie. Yeah, yeah. we're... So, we present the evidence to who? To the archons. The archon, Nobody has an ano. Nobody has an iPhone. Nobody has a record. No, it's recorded in our minds, dude. Yeah, they can see their minds. Um, you see, right? I think any. Any. Pata mag patelepati lang sa or sa lamang pause. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What movie was that? What movie was that? A robot, and then you can like they can replay the day. What movie was that? Forget. Can we boom the the message? I was about to like broadcast it in a sense that if I hit the microphone, yeah, yeah, ma ma ma, don't go somewhere else. Ang ilang historia. That I feel like there's like no level of 
magical item that could do that yet. Pero yeah, so we'll have to settle with the level and maybe like stand on like a zone of truth so that you know we can't lie. Said. Yes, that's smart. Yeah. But, but meaning like both both sides have to go through a zone of truth at least. That's true. Can, I mean, we, we, could, we could stand can we trick on them? it. Can we yeah. trick them into entering the zone of truth? Can we trick them into entering the zone of truth? Why? Huh? Trick who? Trick who? Trick a pizadel into entering a zone of truth. Oh, you could can, You could try later. I don't know. We could, wait, wait, we could wait, also wait, wait, wait. ask him in front of all these people to like stand in the zone of truth, like, you know, and be like, "What are you hiding?" You know. Yes, Mogani, like that. That yeah. would put him in a corner, but yeah, yeah. Like, you have, you look very sus. Why you are, you don't join us it's here the, in the zone of truth? It's yeah. the the candor scene in Divergent. What is it? Yes. Ah. I have a, I have no. a question. I have a question before we we. Uh, this, can we can we discuss with a with a group like like um like the the repercussions of putting him in a corner? Like you remember, if you put someone in a corner, they can just re- do crazy stuff. So like no holds barred. Are we ready to to discuss what are the options? There? I mean, if we corner him, I assume he will try to kill us in front of all people. Yeah, and that is evident enough. Yeah. Now they see you for who you really are. For who you really uh, are. Yeah. Game plan, guys. That's our game plan. We need to discuss that before. Yeah, in a sense. Wait, right? <coughs> no, no, we're here, man. We're all huddled in a little... Okay, are we ready? Circle. Okay, I'm ready to... to, to I'm ready! I'm at the gate. I'm, at the gate. I'm, I'm entering the gate. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, we'll, we'll wait for DJ. Oh, my, uh, my lord! Get inside the house. Well, for what it's worth, uh, all the animals can be on Torin, so it's not going to look like a lot. <laughs> so cute. Torin's like... Uh... I can imagine the guy from... Uh... The good dinosaur, ah, that yeah. dinosaur with all of the other <laughs> small creatures on his horns. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of Kwanza. Can I win the baby dinosaurs a land before time? They're on like a bigger dinosaur. The triceratops head. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, my lord. Cool. Yeah, we're all in a little circle. Fire, my lord. We're all huddled in a perfect for a fireball attack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, guys, we need to fan Bye out. Yeah, my lord. Do we kill him now? But we're still there... in the entrance, for man. Is there a tree I can climb or a wall I can climb? There are <laughs> lots of pillars. Yes. Am I might. Is it the kind of pillar where I can climb on top of it? It will be it quite difficult. It is attached to the ceiling. Oh. I okay. Besides, no any mga columns any, they're smooth, dude. How do you yeah, plan to like? Quite smooth. Smooth. This is a vile accusation. <laughs> Wait, see, so, uh, see, <laughs> Maulagi, she believed it, Maya. Yeah, see, yeah. the queen believed it, so. <laughs> you know, you know, I, as much as I side with, with Rhaenyra, I really am like, wow, this bitch is really committed to, like, bullshitting her yeah. Yes. <laughs> Really, Look, like. Here's the thing, though. She believes her own story, man, in her mind, yeah. so she's so very convincing. <laughs> yeah. You know, Rhaenyra's really committed. She's like, my three children are are my my. Yeah, yeah. She really children. says it yeah. from the gut. Like, how yeah. dare you call yeah. them yeah. bastards when everyone's <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> your son is nothing like the supposed father. What the hell? <laughs> you know, she's so committed, and I'm like, points for that. You know, she's very committed. You know, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, you know, let me just mga lion ma. Kada klaro na kayo white hair, white hair then they have black hair like and then the king just says nature is a mysterious thing. Attempt. Okay, let me just set the scene, okay? So that okay, uh ahead. we we're okay. doing something with this time. <clears throat> Um, you go through um, a different part of the cavern, and then the, the this one narrow cavern opens up to become wider and wider, until you find yourself in what looks to be like a an underground volcano. Wow. And um, oh, uh, it's an underground volcano and a temple is created at the base of this this volcano <clears throat> the temple looks traditionally like a, a greek temple with like several pillars all around and there are steps that you uh, uh climb up and then around this temple there are one two three four eight lions uh specifically seven lionesses and one um one lion here and um as you follow xanthippus in climbing up uh these steps uh, you see at the door is a warforged um creation and hiding behind the the pillar over here is the gnome that you had met Uh, earlier as well when you were in the open theater um, uh, this is Hector Ajax and his Warforge Atlas and they stop you Hector Ajax is like ah, Zan- ah Zan- wait I forget the voice I gave him it was like oh, was it was it kind of like this I think yeah yeah right okay well, kind of like, like Mickey Mouse a little bit um <clears throat> oh Xanthibos uh Uh, what are you doing here with the wolf's guard? I'm, I'm. You're welcome to enter, but I'm not sure about them. And then Xanthippo says, "We are here to present a and to lift up a new issue, something that is separate from the chest earlier." The wolf's guard are here uh, with an accusation. <clears throat> an accusation. What kind of accusation? And then Xanthippos just raises his hand. Uh, and then Hector Ajax has like some respect for Xanthippos, so he will just say, Oh, uh, okay, uh, Atlas, you, you can let them pass. And Atlas just like... <laughs> and then Xanthippos, uh, like, kind of like, You know, composes himself a little bit as he uh, retreats his hand back into his robes, and then he steps forward into the temple. Do we follow? You guys, me? Yeah, let, let's let's follow him. Okay, Tatana, that is being stealthy, stealthy. Don't see her. Don't see her. Follow. <laughs> You don't see her. You don't know if you followed or not. You don't know where she is. <laughs> selfie, selfie. She's in our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's been selfie this it. whole time. Yeah. I just don't know what that story is. Are they outside? Is that outside? Yeah, this would be oh. outside. There three entrances the one you came in from is one entrance and then two side entrances here oh he's yeah. not gonna fit he's not gonna fit in so he's not bothering <laughs> can Kathy use that one side entrance like just stealthy stealthy here uh if you're gonna stealth no. you could but like Yes. Derek, Derek Matix over here is guarding that entrance. But you could s- try to stealth. Sure, roll a stealth check for me, please. God, she rolls like 30 or something. I don't know. We don't know that, guys. And so that exclamation, see, no? Exclamation. 
Speed and stealth. Speed and stealth. Hmm. ADV, oi. Oh, oh, man. ADV. Roll one you know, more time. ADV? Roll without no, no, ADV. ADV. Without ADV, without ADV. No, no I didn't. She has the. Uh, she has the. Uh, she has the. Uh, she has the. 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 Roll again, but no ADV because you rolled already. Uh, Hi guys. Hi. Yo. Uh, uh, Yo. AD, oh, roll without. I didn't roll an ADV without. No, roll. ADV. A, you're supposed no, to roll, roll with ADV, but because you didn't, just roll again. Yeah. Okay. Sixteen. Uh, this guy's a monk, by the way. See Derek Matic, so he is wisdomous. Uh, oh, DM, is it is it okay if like before everything, like we we went down there, uh, Astra gives Harrowbid her pearl of power? Sure. Uh, Astra will kind of like uh, hold on to Haru, like she'll tug on her cloak and she'll be like, "Haru, I think you may need this more than I. If anything goes bad down there, um, you are not allowed to sell it." Um, <laughs> but uh, please, uh, this might help you. So you get the pearl of power. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate does, this. Does, does Derek Matic see me? Yeah, or like he does actually. So you cross this entryway. You do like a barrel roll and then cross there, and then Derek Matic just just watches you roll in front of him, and he sees you, and then he's like. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, you must enter from the front. Of <laughs> course. That's all. That's all he says. He, he blocks that entrance. Can I try from this side then? From uh, the lipo side. <laughs> um, as you go head towards there, Derek will go around and say, "I know what you're trying to do, but please just, just go to the front." <laughs> But why? Okay, wala pa nang so good Katiana nagpabadlong na. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Katiana, do you actually go around to where Bilipos is or do you just go to the front? No, can I try on this side? Sure you can. Uh by the can time I you're there you? By the time you get there, Derek's already like pointing. <laughs> like, I got it. Behind Bilipos. It's like <laughs> So Bilipos watch out, watch out for that one. Yeah. I mean, you could try. Sure, do it. Roll a stealth check with advantage against Bilipos. I know this would be flat roll because Bilipos is now paying attention, so you're supposed to have disadvantage, but it cancels out. A 15 will not do it. Bilipos is also wisdomous. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. No, yeah. That too. No. So, no. So he no, sees you. My hair help. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh. No. No. So yeah, but this guy's this guy's more polite. He just bows and like smiles and then like you know, points you to go here. Megale, <clears throat> move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, are we are we doing stealth checks or I, no I, need I, no I, need no 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 just no. Katiana. It's just Katiana doing her thing, trying to be stealthy. It's stealthy, yeah. stealthy. <laughs> so Xanthipos enters and then greets the high court, and um, Vivian, Valerie, they speak to Xanthipos. Ah, Xanthipos, what brings you here? And with the wolf's guard, Xanthipos will say, We have matters to reveal and to discuss. And it is something that many of us here in the high court, as he like goes around and like addresses everyone, needs to know. Your archons, as he begins to point at Vivian and Valerie, are scheming against you. <gasps> they are. <laughs> you Ronin also. The, what? Perfect. <laughs> That's so funny. But then Xanthipos <gasps> will also point at Apizodel. 
Apizodel, as you know, is part of our court, but he is also part of another group called the Scaled Cap. And as far as we have learned of their activities and their uh, and their doings outside of Fiogisia and on and in Tarin, they are terrorists. And then uh, Apizudel looks at Vivian and Valerie. Uh, Vivian and Valerie, by the way, they're just like uh, they're sitting. Vivian, at least, is sitting down, and like her legs are in the lava. Valerie is like standing up. Damn! Oh, well, then she's up. in. A- but Vivian will stand up as well, and then will, and then both of them will speak, finishing each other's sentences, going back and forth. They will say, "This is a vile accusation." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I can't do it. I can't. But, but they will say, this is a vile accusation, Xanthippos. Uh, and then Xanthippos will, will say, uh, Lords of the High Court of Fiogisia, you must hear me. I am your trusted cohort. And I have brought the Wolf's Guard here to also share their peace. You may now receive their word with honor as they have returned the chest to you and have not broken our laws. The Enzantepos will step aside, waiting for any of the Wolf's Guard to uh, help present their case. I think beforehand we would have said like who is the who will be the one to do the talking. Uh, uh Firo will just say something sure. first, right? Go. Oh. And he will say this man was sent by your court into the Fey Worlds. What he did there was uncalled for. He desecrated the holy ground of my people and that of high elves and that of all elves. He destroyed part of that land. He destroyed part of Gamaril's forests because of that. And from my understanding, it was because your archons have given him permission and the order to do so. What say you to this accusation? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Vivian and Valerie will say, will say, yes, it is true. That we have sent Apizudel to the Fey Wilds to learn from our, from the, and then they talk about the. Remember the, um, the sure. the elemental guardians there, oh. and then, uh, specifically what they wanted Apizudel to do was meet with the fire guardian, uh, the fire elemental guardian to uh, help you know in the honing of fire and whatever because they are fire genasi and it is their main source of power and like for their arcane magic and whatever um but they will say that we did not send apizudel there to desecrate the lands we do not know where this is coming from and I do not know if I can trust your word. <clears throat> Lumi steps forward. He stands right beside Firwa. And um, he gives Firwa a pat on his back. Esteemed Arpens. 
I think I can't tell a few geisha. And he looks around at everyone in the room. We stand here in front of you as we may have reason to believe that as Xanthos has mentioned, there is a plot. There's a plotting that is worrisome to our nation, to your nation, to the great Theo Geisha. We have been in several instances engaged in the nefarious group known as Theo Cap, which appears to Dell, and it seems like yours, the. Vasilius. <laughs> yeah, Archons Vasilius. Vasilius are wary and engaged. They are this group. They are in no. They are in no way in the interest of peace. You say that you cannot trust our words, but if you are in any way aligned with our cause, and he looks at everyone in the room. Mm. We suggest that we stand in a zone of truth together with Apisudel and the Archons, Vivian and Valerie, and us, the Wolf's Guard. And this is actually a spell. Okay. Ooh. I am casting Man Suggestion with Shit. my new feature, um, Subtle Spell. Wow. Okay. Uh, oh, this towards everyone yes. in the room except uh, no, except my allies. Got it. <clears throat> Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, since I have the harp of Anstruth, mm -hmm. all tar spells will have a disadvantage on Wisdom saving throws. Sheesh. Oh my god, it's so cool. What, what, what? Saves against it will have disadvantage because of yeah. the earth. And your spell save DC for this is 20? 20. 20. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. What kind what? of... <laughs> Fucking... And Wait, I did this with a spell. spell. Bard. Uh, I, I'm a metamagic adept. Okay. Metamagic Got adept. Gotcha. It's ridiculous. So cool. Fuck. <laughs> okay. And subtle spell, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. So they can't even. They won't even know that he casted it. And like, it cannot be even... countered. Yeah, because no. no one was aware of it, man. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll say everyone fails. <laughs> you don't want to do the rolling. I do not know. No. Even, uh, even these guys with like a high wisdom. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let me try them. I know for sure that Apizudel will fail. And the Archons probably will fail. But let me try the, the monks in the back. The monks in the back with... A wisdom score, higher wisdom score. Not even, guy. Like disadvantage, but jud. Wala, seventeen's the highest. Yeah. So, so they all, everyone fails. <clears throat> so they're all in agreement. Uh, Vivian oh, will, so cool. Vivian and Valerie will say, "Yes, this is a sound uh, suggestion." <laughs> Uh, let us do as the as the bard says. Uh, Astro will step, but my my zone of truth is only like fifteen. A cone, I think, okay. fifteen. It's okay. People will like take turns moving in that like circle. We'll take okay. turns, you know. Yeah. Go round. Uh, let me draw so, that. I'll draw zone of truth, right? Fifteen feet. Yeah. Put that here. So it's five. 10, 15, like that. Uh, I think so. Astro will. Uh, Actually, I'll move um, it. I'll move it 
sa taas. Astro will uh do like um like a a, a very intricate like ser- series of movements with her hands uh, and as she does it it looks like um this thread of silvery white um magic starts to get uh, more complicated until it looks like she's spinning a web that's a, 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 a web ball that's getting thicker and thicker and bigger and bigger. And then she throw, she ca- uh, she puts her arms up and it looks like the, the magic web kind of like falls over these people. Mm. And that's what the zone of truth will look like. And then she will say, um, there is nothing kept secret that will not come to light. Uh, and then she'll cast her uh, zone of truth on them. Love it. All right. The zone of truth is there. Uh, and then uh, Vivian and Valerie will say, Who will speak first? Uh, since I already oh, did. <laughs> I stay. And I will repeat the same thing I said. Sure, and you didn't lie, and then everything yeah. is true. All right. So Valerie and Vivian will be curious. Yeah. Uh, so I will look at them and say, "So now you know it is true that what he what he did in the Feywild was the desecration of the land of my people." Uh, for Slaver, the bee is going to do the exact same thing Kirwal um, did, but this time about the carnival and um, the accusation is towards the scale cats. Got it. Okay. At this point, Vivian okay. and Valerie will, uh, yes. will step into the zone of truth as well. They will say, as you have spoken your truth, we will also speak ours. And they will say the same thing they said earlier. They did not know that Apizodel went to the Feywilds to to burn like part like a lot of the forest down there to desecrate the area. And uh, they will also reveal that um, they but they 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 they're kind of smart. Also, they kind of like manipulate the way they speak so that they try to avoid telling the whole truth but yeah in saying that they were not involved in with the scale scaled cap caps plan of uh like going around villages in Athendor uh with the carnival they unintentionally slip and reveal that uh, it was a it like you know it was a they they provided they actually did provide the the materials for the carnival and whatever uh, and at this point Xantipos will then take out the copy of the job order and reveal to the high court that here of uh, Archons Vivian and Valerie signed the job order in supporting and uh, providing the scaled cap with the means uh, for the trap that was Tamil Ra. And Tamil Ra, you know, and then, you know, recount, Lumi would then probably recount how Tamil Ra was a uh, distraction for villagers to leave their towns and then while they are distracted in the carnival uh, the necromancer Odessa would uh, go around reaping the people in the village Uh, Vivian and Valerie uh, visibly look annoyed that uh, that was revealed and then uh, they will step out of the zone of truth I'll step into the box and into the box, do, into the they can do that there. Huh? You can step out today. Did they know we're holding, please? Yeah, um, it, it, 
they we all agreed to like speak under the zone yeah yeah i oh, i guys, it's time to ask your questions yeah <laughs> go ronin okay i'll step into the zone of truth as well I'll have roy accompany me and then i will tell him as well we have also tried to gather our own uh information ours before this uh trial and what i say is the truth happy Sudel, around a few hours ago we have heard you communicating with opal from the order of mistra about freeing a criminal known as basil from his imprisonment and we have also heard you mentioned endangering Fugitia with the power contained in the box that I have returned. That's it. And I leave. Uh, the, the inner circle and the lords of the high courts will start shouting and yelling at one another, a lot of them towards Apizodel saying saying profanities and calling him traitor and uh calling him uh liar and deceiver and then vivian and valerie also looking looking quite shocked uh they will they will shout and call silence and the lords will fall quiet and then Vivian and Valerie will say to Apizodel, Enter the circle. Uh, Apizodel will. And then. Uh, Vivian and Valerie. Shame, shame. Vivian and Valerie will say. Uh, is this true? You plan to betray us. What do you mean by leaving behind? What do you mean by Fugisha will be no more? And then Apizudel uh, was like, would be like tilting his head and then he would raise it up looking very sinister and angry and then he will say what I mean is Fugisia in all its strength and power that comes from fire you will all burn and at this moment he will take from his robe the mirror oh, no. Man. No. 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 that he had already opened. Uh, the, so the, no. chest, the chest he had already opened already. And he will mutter an incantation and slam the mirror the down. Do you want to attempt it? Yeah, can we attempt it? Uh, to stop sure. the muttering? Or I, my stop it. What's your plan? For me, it's very, for me, very I quick. want to cast Mage Hand to try and... Is that a reaction? Uh, no, that's an action. Okay, only reactions allowed. Okay, go. Let me try to spell. Else? Counter spell. It's not counter spell. It's the incantation for the magic item to... I have nothing to react. To. I cannot react to it. Can yeah. I can I ask about my family family line and about the the rumors about being who's imposter and who's uh, not? Hey, to ask uh, I will sure I will allow that to be retcon, but Apizodel really strongly believes that he is a Zodel because um, it was his grandfather who stole the name, not him. So he thinks he's a Zodel. Yeah. So. Yeah, because uh, sorry, I I, I was uh, I, I just came back. I did some. Um, uh, my aunt wanted uh, uh, to have her uh, tested. Uh, you know, 
COVID sure. tested. So yeah. So sure. I just came back. So any yeah, so, other um, reactions? Can I fire an arrow to the mirror? <laughs> that is not. That's, that's not a reaction. Not a reaction, not reaction that, though. That will break the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Can, can only think... reactions can, can be done? Only yeah, reactions. Because you didn't anticipate this, dude. Yeah. So wait, yeah. None of us... so wait. What did I miss, guys? So we, we, I, I, all I know, we went to a zone of truth. And then, and then we basically put him in his place. The lies and everything were like re revealed, right? And then all yeah, the evidences no, were, were showed. And everyone realized what a what, uh, betrayer... Uh, uh, in Apiza yes. is. Yes. So and how yeah. did how did yeah and then why 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 uh yeah and then I don't I don't uh get the like how can I put my questioning into into that part how can I like bring no we're up? we're we're just retconning that tiny part yeah. where you got we're... to ask the question before he smashes the mirror. Oh okay, yeah. can we retcon that part? Yeah, I so sorry. I didn't I didn't even. Yeah, I wasn't really there at that time. Yeah, so I, I before that happened, can we retcon it a bit? Like, yes, can I ask about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. He doesn't, he believes he's a Zudo. He believes, also he basically doesn't even, he believes what he just knew, right? Yeah, he genuinely, he genuinely believes he is of the Zudo family, family because, because it's his grandfather who stole the name, not him. And he was raised to think that he's legit and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But there's no way to prove it, right? Or is there a way to prove such... such? Uh... Well, well, as of now, there's no known way. I mean, his blood is react. So, yeah, it's there's no known way yet. So, yeah. Yep. It's so uh, interesting. So... But yeah, is can I... Can I dash and grapple him? No, nope. can't do that. No, <laughs> reaction. Uh, like, you know, if reaction, it's, reaction, if it's reaction, not a reaction, reaction in your list, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. a reaction in your list. You can't do anything. Let, let me check. Yeah. Let me check. What 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 reaction can I have? I have, I have a reaction of counter spell. No. It's, it's, not, not, a spell. it's not a spell. They're trying to no. help him mutter. Yeah. Okay. I think we've already an action before, but that would be. <laughs> yeah. 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 What so about, what about? What about silvery barbs? No, <laughs> no, that's not an attack. That it's not a roll. He's just doing. Yeah, he's he's just he's... doing a, an action. The action of breaking the mirror. Yeah, he's interacting yeah. with a magical yeah. object. Object. So yeah, we're just watching him she do this. He <laughs> finishes yeah. the the short incantation, and the mirror vibrates violently in his hand, and the glass. Damn breaks oh my god as he smashes the mirror down in <gasps> into the steps in front of him and then a a explosion of smoke fills the room you guys will be blinded for just a few seconds and as the smoke okay. clears uh not only that oh along god. with the explosion the right. temples uh, walls starts starts crumbling and you hear like the roof break oh above <laughs> and falling and you hear the screams of uh, some of these people the archons Vivian and Valerie they scream Bilipos the Rekmatics they uh, grunt in pain ah! as as the as the ceiling and roof collapse uh, over on top of them and in the place of where this statue was and where the roof would have been, behind Apizudel, who shielded himself from uh, the rubble and uh, the roof, is oh the ancient red dragon that was trapped in the mirror by Aizudel all those centuries ago. Oh my god! Uh, Apizudel... Yeah. Um, uh, uh, this, so this is what happens. He turns around to to face the dragon, and the dragon is about to slash Apizudel, but Apizudel pulls from his uh, inside his cloak, like uh, around his like neck area. He raises what looks like around a chain is like an amulet. Uh, yeah. And for some reason, uh, after this dragon sees the amulet, 
they act as if they are dominated by a pizzo <laughs> Ah, uh, we need what? to get that fucking amulet. I knew it. Do we do we see that? Do we see that happening, DM? Um, let me see. Ronan, you're behind this thing. You are you there? Oh fuck. Um, okay. but you guys need like a ridiculously good passive percept because there's still smoke and like rubble and everything. That's like all right, guys. Oh. PP energy. <laughs> PP. PP energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Astra is pretty yeah. good passive person. So does Fearwell and Haru. Who had the biggest again? It was Lumi, I remember. Lumi had the biggest Lumi, PP. Lumi, 22. Yeah. And, yeah, minus 19. Nah, yeah. dude, mine's 11. Yeah, I guess it's like... So Lumi, Wait, Astra... Perception. Lumi, Astra, and Fearwell. Eh, then. You guys could... You guys would have seen like Apizudel like showing something to... The dragon and the dragon, like instead of its claw coming down to Apizudel, it it just gently puts it in front of Apizudel, and then the dragon's head slightly bows, and then Apizudel, no! Apizudel, like like sink, no, uh, ri- uh, hides the amulet again, and then Apizudel turns around to look at you guys, and then uh, he will say. Uh, he will mutter a command that basically tells the dragon to breathe fire, and oh the God. dragon will inhale. <laughs> oh my! And before, Fuck. before he breathes fire, Xanthipos will step in front, so between no, no, you no. guys and Apizudel, no, no, no. and then, and then he will say, <clears throat> he uh, he will say. Uh, uh, he will say. Uh, he will he will mutter an incantation in, I would say like primordial. Yes. Uh, but it's a combination of like primordial and like ancient draconic. So the only people who ooh, would understand ooh. it would be those who know both primordial and draconic. He mutters oh, this. Astra. Wait, wait, wait. Astra knows Draconic and Primordial. That's great. So Astra, you. I also know. <laughs> y- y- oh, also Farewell. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me let me see mine. Sure. No, I I can't. I don't know what he say, but but but, <laughs> but Xanthipos does go in front of Lumi. He mutters this this incantation and word, and it's basically uh, along the lines of. Uh, From flesh to ash to scales and fire, and wow. uh, his skin—he uh, is a fire genasi—will start to glow orange, like as the embers Watch light him. up, and he will Watch. engulf himself in flames. And from oh. his, from where his body was, oh my God. will rise <gasps> a dragon oh also. As Xanthipos, as, as Xanthipos completes his transfer, transformation, he becomes a dragon. Uh, at this point, he will create a large wall of fire dividing the room, uh, oh. and and the dragon's flame will clash with his on fire as a Dude. large wall will. Oh my God! Is there like a Dude, this is so that? cinematic. Is this like <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god oh my god this is amazing there you go the fire will settle and uh the rubble and smoke will um <clears throat> slowly fall so that uh, the rest of you will have like a better vision now nah? you guys uh, find your bearing xanthipos will speak as a dragon this time he will say he will say Uh, leave our isles, Apizudel. Your fire is no match for ours. And with that, uh, you guys can roll initiative. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Let's kill him. 
More help, you know. Let, we'll help. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 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 That's crazy. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll do in it begin. You guys can do in it join. In initiative. Yeah, exclamation in it join. Yep. In it join. Uh, oh, what about, dog shit. What about Tatiana? She has advantage, by the way. Yeah, how do we do it? In it join space ADV. Ah. Wait, no, no advantage, right? Just in it join. Wait, yep. Ang, ang in it join is one word. No, in it space no. join no, space join, ADV. Join. All right, all right. That's a good roll. That's a good exclamation roll. Mark. Uh, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation uh, mark. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, while while this is happening, uh, DM Firwal will whisper <laughs> to the bow, right? He says, uh, "Oh wait, sh- guys, you, I, you, I, do you I, see I this as a balloon? I did accidentally." Wait, I I I did um in uh, I actually rolled accidentally the, in the in the sheet. I don't know if it uh, it. No, no, it's eventually. there. I can see it. You rolled it's a thirteen. There. Thirteen. No. It- Rolled an 18. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. The, the 18 oh, is the yeah. It was that. That is already after the 13. No, no. The first was the 18. Per the second one was a 13. So, pero I don't mind. Whatever. It's okay, you can be 18. Uh, I, I, I did in it join on the second one. So, uh, Lumi and Urzi both have 18, so you guys will have to decide who's uh, going first, first then. Yeah, if Lumi's uh, first, then it's the same initiative. Okay. Yeah. yeah all right. Um, for you, Farewell, the bow doesn't seem to react at all to any of these dragons showing up. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, here's the thing, Haru, guys. Haru Haru, you need to roll. I did. Uh, she did roll. Oh, 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 I rolled in a wrong place. Oh, it's okay, it's oh. okay. 10, 10, 10. Okay, 10. Eight, Got it. Ten. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, oh, Haru and Astra forever in initiative oh. and in stealth. Yeah, we matched. Above <laughs> game, guys, above game, Um, please ignore the, the two dragons, right? Okay. Uh, Let's like, say don't don't like they're gonna battle their on their own. They're gonna fight. Uh, it's they're gonna be the cinematic fight. Um, okay. okay. The gotcha. ones on your side would be. Uh, oh. I'll do this. So Atlas is bad. I'll color the ones red. Wait, wait. Is okay, is there a link for this again? I wanna see. Uh, it's the what? in Albert. Dry... It's oh, an Albert. Yeah. Al- Here. Oh, there. I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah. Um, Tell us who Team Black and Team Green is so that we will know. <laughs> sure. Uh, sure. I want to say the Archons, Valerie, and Vivian are, are probably dead. Oh, they're dead? Or I will oh, say shit. one of them is... It I'll say on or something, right? Yeah, I'll say Vivian no is injured. Valerie's dead. And then oh, no. Bilipus over here is alive and he is bad. Derek Matix over here is dead. Oops. Oh no. Oops, wait. They had names. <laughs> they had names. <laughs> They're dead. <laughs> Kurtix over <laughs> here is good. And then these Argus and Bix are bad over there. Oh, Zam- Bix is so cute. What about Samantha? Like, Samantha is bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, Ro- Ronan was winking at her. Yeah. Uh, she might so change sad. her mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ajax, get control of your... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... No, it's fine. I'm just gonna... Okay, okay. <laughs> don't mind the dragons, right? Yeah, don't mind the dragons. Don't mind the dragons. Pum, 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 pum. Okay. Let me put the initiative. So after Lumi will be 
bad guys, bad guys, uh, and then at the end will be more bad guys if na ah. Uh, uh, at the end, more bad guys. Actually, you know what? No. So we'll start with the cinematic thing. Cinematic, uh, the dragons. Let's go. Dragons, and then we do Katy. Then the bad guys tonga tonga. Then after Astra will be end of the round. All right, let's go. So. Top of the round, the dragons are fighting after Xantipo says, says that uh, leave our isles, your fire is no match for ours. Uh, he will uh, exhale his own fire breath. Uh, and then the the dragon behind him, behind Apizodel, will cover Apizodel in, in his wings to defend Apizodel. Uh, as the wings of the dragon will retract upward, Apizodel will hang from it and will climb onto the back of the red dragon or the shoulder of the red dragon. Oh wow! Uh, they will continue Sorry. their fight. It's uh, it's whole cinematic shit. They will bush bush. Oh shit! No wait. Let me hang on. Let me. Let me change. Yeah. Let me change this to that first before I can do this. Okay, there. Yes, they dragon, will man. fight. There, breaking down like the the back of this temple, desecrating uh, some of these. Yeah, na dead sea one. Nakita na ko na ni barrel roll. Hello. Uh, yeah, Valerie is dead. Valerie is dead. Is that is that the right name? And then Vivian is injured. Vivian. Vivian will crawl to her sister. Valerie, deed. Oh, deed. Sorry. Deed. She, she did her best. Uh, she did. <laughs> oh, no. But you have been DG5. <laughs> yeah, they will fight. Vivian is mourning. Uh, Valerie over there. And yeah, so Katiana, you're up, farewell on deck. What do you do? Yeah, farewell will just uh, shout that Urza Delphers and say, uh, take, take control of that dragon that is from your family. <laughs> Look, hello, I guess I move a little here between the animals. I can shoot. To a uh, sorry, oh. sorry, I'll, I'll add the grid. Sorry, sorry. The grid. Add the grid. There. Now we need to realign ourselves to the yeah, grid. Yeah, realign yeah. to the grid. Everything snap. Let's go, Roy and Reggie. Right, I will attack Atlas. I will attack Atlas. Atlas, okay. With advantage. After now, with advantage, right? Because of your dread ambusher or something? Wait, what do you have? Why do you because, have advantage? Because assassin. Because, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, assassin. Do it. With advantage. Wait, is it advantage or I know she has sneak attack. That's for sure because she rolled high. Um, assassin rogue, right? If she attacks anything that hasn't, hasn't moved yet, moved or attacked yeah, I have, yet, I have, I have uh, she has advantage on attack against that. Do it. Uh, okay. Some... Nice. Are you attacking with a short uh, bow? Exclamation mark A space yeah. short bow space ADV. Okay. 26 will hit. 6 damage. Do your sneak attack. Exclamation mark A space sneak. Okay. That is 13 plus 6 is how much? 19? 19 damage to Atlas. Damage. And then I will, I will, I will. Can I hide behind the animals? Sure. Uh, like here. <laughs> sure. Uh, exclamation mark C space stealth space ADV. This your bonus action. Twenty four stealth. Uh, let's let's type that for Katiana. Uh, stealth. Twenty four. I was like, I'm there, and then next you know, oh, where did the arrow come from? I came from nowhere. 
Yeah. From thin air. Yep. Okay, 19 damage to Atlas. Uh, it, it's okay. He, he, he took the hit. And then he just powering up, uh, winding up a punch. <clears throat> All right. Um, up next is Fearwell. Uh, Lumi on deck. Okay. That was 8, 1, D, 4 plus. Okay. So I'm just going to move back here once first, and then I'll attack twice. Uh, to Atlas? Yeah. Call yo, hold yo. Crap. Yun na sanya kung kuwanda. Nice. Uh, D10. I think that's it. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, wanna do it today? Uh, 23 to hit. Yep, hits. Mm -hmm. Okay. 29 uh, damage. Ridiculous. 29 damage. So I'll attack again before I leave. 24 to hit, 38 damage. What? Yeah. Do the go. Go, let's go. Let's go. Six. And then, uh, Dorian will be in front of him. Then Killa will be here and Tor. Okay, so yeah, Torrid will attack. Uh, Torin will attack. Crap, okay. They could 20, not fly 22 to hit. Hit 25 damage. 100. <coughs> 100. This is ridiculous. Okay. Damn, that's so nice. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, 17 to hit. Uh, miss. Okay. So he misses that. And last, uh, Kila and Tor. Let me see. Uh, they each have three attacks. Lol. Wow. <laughs> So, our D20 the, plus 8. The wind slash attack. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't hit, right? Miss. Our D20 plus 8. I'm going to copy paste it. 8. Fuck. I don't equals to you. Damn it. 10. Oh, they're missing. Miss. Oh, miss again. Oh, miss. So that's Claw. Uh, she missed. Uh, Thor hits. Hits one. Uh, ako na lang hits twice. So he hits twice. Hits twice. Hits three times. Okay. So it's uh, 3d4 plus 18. 26. 137. Okay. Great. Good job. Good work. Bloody Atlas is. Oh, Atlas is. Uh, oiled. Nice. <laughs> All right. Good job. That's my turn. Coolio, Julio. Lumi, you are up. Uh, but then bad guys, then you're Zudel on deck. Lumi. Um, Lumi. Uh, Lumi flies 30 feet up. Flies, okay, 30 feet up, okay. And then, um, he is going to uh, bring out his harp, lock a few strings, and do the usual um, signature move up. <clears throat> what do you call this? Uh, Vetinitis is like a ringing, but this is time, having been like newly leveled up, he does it subtly as well. Hmm. So, that's simple. I need to draw a, a 30 feet cube. Mm -hmm. Where is the drawing tool? Ah, uh, there. 30 feet cube. 
I think that's a 30 feet too. Am I correct? Yes, that is correct. Nice. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Hypnotic pattern. Hypnotic pattern. Alright. Uh, what did they roll? Uh, DC 20 wisdom save. Um, disadvantage. <sighs> Ridiculous, man. Uh, Zamansa is a mage. So her wisdom is kaput. Wala, six. And then the other, see, what's his name? The dragonborn Argus is a warrior. So let me actually wait. Is a pom 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 pom. Hang on, hang on. He will roll wisdom save. Oh, just plus one. Nineteen, unfortunate. And then the little guy, the little guy is is very little. He is he has the stats of like a a goblin, guys. So it's negative one. Wisdom. Yep, eight. Yep. Oh, they all fail. All right. Uh, so on a failed save, the creature becomes charmed for the duration. While charmed, the creature is incapacitated and speed zero. Uh, the spell ends for any affected creature. If I remind the party, if someone else has uses an action to shake the creature out of its stupor, or if it takes any damage. Got it. So guys, it. I didn't want to sorry, you, you, you. <laughs> uh so incapacitated and speed zero. Oh shit. Yep. Voila, you just ended the fight. Well al not almost. <laughs> so what else you doing? Um, I mean, I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, for for those of us who want to activate their buffs, we can take this time now, I guess. <laughs> uh, Lumi is going to um, uh, uh, move one to five feet to your right and, and look at Orzadel. He says, Orzadel, you must prove that you are a true Zadel. To these dragons, and that's the bardic inspiration for Urzi. Nice. Um, Cloud. Yeah, so Cloud here is a Griffa. Uh, Skippy is riding Cloud. <laughs> Love it. Cloud is 20 feet up with Skippy, and then he'll just go like 10 feet up. No, 5 feet up na lang para maka attack siya. Okay. And Atlas, um, Skippy will uh, help action. So, I should have tried this earlier. No. Griffon. One D twenty plus six. Uh, that's gonna miss one D twenty. Another one. Uh, that's for uh, uh his uh claw. So um, cloud is going to like whip out his claw and try to claw Atlas. It misses. He turns and um tries to attack with his beak and it will. Hit. hit, I guess. Oh yeah, I can I roll one more time the other one because they have advantage from Skippy. Mm -hmm. So hit eighteen. Does that hit? Yep. All right. So uh, I will have two damage. One d eight plus four piercing and two d six plus four slashing. The ten is a piercing, twelve is slashing. Got it. So 20 plus 22, 159. Taken. 
That ends my turn. Good shit. Bad guys turns. Do these guys have a mm. chance to do wala? Like, no. can they do break the save away again? From the... No. No? no. And, <laughs> this, and this hypnotic pattern field, the three, the. <laughs> The, no, does it go away? Uh, yeah, it goes away. But I can, I can find the uh, the eraser tool. Uh, I got you. Yeah, uh, I got <laughs> you. I got you. There. Can I do that? Oh, it's still it's the draw <laughs> tool. It's the draw tool, but there's an eraser option in the draw thing. So, so got it. There you go. Okay. Uh, if they can't do anything, then well, voila, their turns over. Bilipos is. Going to go over here through the and then all mourn a little shortly, see Valerie, and then look up, looking at like you know who he can uh uh displace his anger <laughs> to. He sees Lumi up there, he can't reach. So, what he's going to do is he's gonna jump over here. He's a monk, so he does like a, a somersault backflip over the lava. And then he goes over I, here. I have a I have a question, DM. Is yeah. it's like a full minute pass since Valerie died? No. Okay. Yep. Uh he makes it to there. And then he looks at Yurzadel and then he says, You are the cause of all this. And then he will uh strike Yurzudel. Um, let's see, uh, three attacks, uh, so it's, uh, three punches, poof, poof, poof. uh, two punches and a kick, 23, 11, and natural one, so I think only one Shit. hits, let me see, what's your Zudel's AC, your Zudel's AC is 16, if he were to shield, he still couldn't block the 23. So I'll just roll damage for the 23 one. Damage Yurzadel takes is uh, 14. So Yurzadel takes 14 damage. And uh, he won't do any monk shit for now. He will... After doing that, push, push, and then uh, a kick, uh, Yuzudel was able to like weave out of the way of some of those attacks, uh, and then he ends his turn in front of Yuzudel. Atlas's turn. Atlas will target the the biggest thing in front of him, which is Torin. So, what will Atlas do? Atlas, um. Um, just two attacks against Torin is a 19 to hit. Torin. I don't think it hits. And then a natural it. 20. It doesn't. Okay. A nat 20? Yeah. So. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Torin takes 19 damage. Okay. 19? Yep. Nine. No, nine zero. No. <laughs> one, one nine. <laughs> so uh what the he fuck? he like uh atlas like raises his arms uh you know those like uh those toy boxers <laughs> like the way they punch is like very <laughs> yeah so that's how he punches it's like cheep, cheep, and then it just goes back right uh Hector Ajax is like, Atlas, no! Uh, and then I'll just do his turn. He goes over here. And then he takes like a wrench and then bonks Atlas in, in the side. He's like, you gotta stop! Power down! Power down! Uh, not doing any damage <laughs> to Atlas. Just a wrench to the side. Uh, Kurtix will uh, go over here and under Lumi and like go over here. And will uh, do a charge attack so he's a minotaur he's all, all the way over here he's gonna run and boosh, charge at bilipus so let's see 
if the uh, hits unfortunately he rolled a 13 so Bilipus will do a backflip and then like you know <laughs> handstand over Kurtix's head and then land on the other side as Kurtix hits the side of the wall over here Boosh. Bilipus lands on his feet and Kurtix ends his turn there um that is, that are the NPCs. Yurzadel, you're up, Ronin on deck. Okay. Yurzadel. Uh oh. Uh, Yurzadel. Yurzadel, it's your turn. <laughs> Oh my god, I was muted the whole time. Oh my friggin' okay. lord. So, 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 uh, yeah, uh, what I was saying was, um, um, for, is it uh, for cinematic reason, is it okay to, uh, not really for cinematic, I'm gonna use my bonus action to yeah. initiate my wings. Dragon wings. Yes, sir. Do it. Yeah, I just want to yeah. show it off. <laughs> I just I like whoosh, whoosh, spread my wings and then and I and I and I look at Lumi. Time to prove myself, and then Perfect. and then and then yeah, and then I kind of like can I fly up a bit? You can. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you you will agree with this, DJ. It's up to you because it's your character. But because you're uh, part fire genasi, I imagine when your wings like unfurl. Kind of bitong, uh, it's kind of charcoaly and like burned, and then as you fly, there's like a trail of smoke. Yes, yeah, that would be fine. And with yeah. a, a trail of smoke with with a tiny bit of ember. Yes, yes, like sparks of ember, like uh, trailing behind you. Yes, perfect. All right, good shit. That's amazing. So you like, fly, whoosh, and then yeah. You go? yeah, and then I fly here first. Uh, I fly like a bit here. Reminds me of Lilith from the Warrior Nun. <laughs> and if, then if anyone watches. Not yet. I, I'm planning to. <laughs> don't say anything yet. Yeah. So, so, so yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do. Um, I am going to use my um attack. I'm gonna cast disintegrate on. Atlas. On um, the Billy Pivlo Blue Blue. Ah, Billy Boss, okay. Shit. And what is, this, ins what is inspiration again? The Bardic inspiration? That's what, that's uh, just in case. You get I think a plus 1d10. I one can help you with attack roll. Okay, let's let's do this first. I'm gonna cast it, okay? I think Disintegrate is a, is a save though, right? Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I cast it on um Bilipilus. Bilipus. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, so can you do a save for me? Yes. What is what is the saving throw? Twenty. Check. Dexterity the, saving the throw. Dexterity? Yeah. Okay, yeah. they're a monk, so they're probably they're dexterous. Okay. Let me see. But I wanna read. Oh, but your DC is twenty, so it's pretty high. Let's see. He only has a dex save of plus four. He rolled a sixteen. Clover leaf? Can can I use a clover leaf to make it one down or no? No, no. he fails. Your DC is twenty. Oh, so that okay, that works then. Okay. Uh, 73 damage. If the target is disintegrated, if this damage leaves it with zero, it's fine. Okay, can please describe how Bilipus is is removed from existence? Oh my, oh God. my gosh! As I fly wow. up in the air, like with with my my trails of ember and fire goes through up and and I and a bit of my eyes was burning with 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 the uh, with passion and fire and rage in a bit to see what's happening with all the di dragons in the uh, in this in the in the scene I look mm. up at the drag beside my drag I see two dragons there I got so very impassioned you know like my my passion was rising and then I was like now time to show my true power and then I cast and I I say disintegrate and and it it crumbles uh, 
this Great. little blipless into the uh, in non-existence. Bilipos had just finished um, um, landing uh, from Kurtix's attack, and as he turns around to see you, it's just a. Uh, is it like a very concentrated beam of fire uh, that hits him? I think it's more of a, of more of a like for me to. I want it like like uh, 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 for him. Like I want him to experience that like he's being closed in with a uh, like fire in internally from so in, from, from the beam. inside. Okay, got it. Uh, wow. Uh, she looks at you. That's and rough, then dude. <laughs> He looks at you, Yurzadel. You're in the sky, glorious with your wings and smoke and ember falling from you. And uh, you had just finished the uh, the somatic and in- components of this as you're pointing at Bilipos. Bilipos um, starts to like twist and twitch like uh, his head as he feels like something coming from inside him. He scratches like on his chest. And he tears away his shirt, and from the inside of his chest, uh, embers start glowing orange, and he screams, or he tries to, but as he opens his mouth, uh, we hear nothing. And then uh, the glowing just stops, and his skin and uh, and like his entire body just turns into like a hardened. Uh, coal, and then he just falls into ash and uh, yes, and, <laughs> and blows away in the wind. I guess <laughs> that's perfect. And then, and I say, I'm not yet done. Then I'm and I and I'm and I looked at Atlas. Okay. And I and I see and I say and I use my uh, meta magic twin spell. I can use that, right? I think yeah, because a targeted creature. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. You also, so I'm gonna uh, use my another yeah, so disintegrate use on my, him. Yeah, I'm gonna use twin spell the same disintegrate on on Atlas. Shit. Okay. So I will I will cast that. I, I you just need to do your deck saving throw. I will I I'll just cast yes. the the damage. Yes. Okay. He doesn't have a lot of H HP Ooh, left. Seventy four. Shit. Deck save right. Plus two, 16 also, so he fails. Let me oh check. Gosh. Let me check his HP. Is one? That's 233 damage. Uh, total 233 damage. Um, you're flying, and then after you disintegrate, Bilipos, you turn around to uh, gaze your attention on Atlas. You point your finger, Atlas. Mm-hmm. Atlas's um he, Atlas's has a lot of these like exhaust ports for like the the fire like whatever arcane power he has that's inside him can exhaust outward and it looks like a flame. Um, those engines and like uh ex- exposed areas start like as if like uh, you know when cars rev their engines the the ones with the the, the powerful cars kind of fire like vroom, vroom, goes out of it. Uh, Atlas experiences that a little as, as it like the exhaust ports all around his body vroom, vroom, like ignite in flames and then Atlas starts whirring and his gears start clanking <laughs> and um, the fire arcane core within him uh, implodes in on its se- itself and Atlas starts crumbling in like into itself into a small ball until it just he just disappears oh yes double homicide <laughs> Whoa. Right. yeah and then yeah and then i rest and then you end your turn all right and I end ronin you are up <laughs> you rest your case <laughs> <laughs> I rest my fist because I, I I clenched my my left hand and then on on the Atlas I clenched my right hand just to twist their hearts out. <laughs> cool, uh, Ronin, you're up. Haru on deck. Okay, so DM, I want to just to tell you my intention. I plan on using my turn since it hasn't been a minute since Valerie died. My intention is to revive her and get Vidyan ah. to be in debt to me for sure. this. And, Damn. and 
Okay. Once, uh, so I'll run over to them since most of them are charmed or dead. I think I can move without yes. opportunity. And I will yell out to Haru and Astra. Trust me on this. Help me heal up the Archons. So I run up to them. I use my 20 feet, 5 feet of movement. I yep. still have 1 feet. And then I go over to Vivian and tell her, you owe me for this one. And I crouch over to Valerie, pull out a diamond, and I cast... Revivify. I essentially, when I cast a spell, I crush the diamond until it glows orange and it bursts into orange dust. Then I throw it all over to Vivian's face and all her soul back. Got it. To the living. Okay. Uh... Uh, so that, that's my main action. And then... My second action, I mean, my, my bonus, no, Roy's turn, he will run over to me, and Roy has my, I don't know, gauntlet of spell storing, Yep. and the spell I stored in the gauntlet is the Aura of Vitality spell, and I will have him cast that spell as my bonus action. Got it. Yeah. And... When he casts that, he essentially is covered in an aura. I'll describe how the range. Pero as a bonus action for Roy, he's gonna be healing to the six HP to Valerie Got while it. she's being revived. So that's my main action, bonus action. That's also Roy's turn, and yeah, that will be our entire turn. Good stuff. All right. I will roll how much uh, Valerie healed up. Alrighty. Uh, that was Ronin's turn. Haro, you're up. Astra on deck. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, I mean, I I saw I see I heard what Ronin said, and I, I trust him for doing that. Was the right thing to do. And as a paladin, I approve of his actions. Mm. So, since they're charmed, I, they're, they can't do much, right? They, yeah, they can't. They can't. They can't like opportunity of attack us or anything. They're just incapacitated. They're standing yeah. guard. They're too stunned to speak. Yeah, but I mean, but and so if you're attacking them, they're just stunned even without. You wake them and up. And they'll just take it. Oh. If you attack them, the charm effect ends. Yeah, they'll, right, they'll right. snap Can out I of go? it and start fighting. They'll, fight they'll receive the damage, but you're snapping them out of the charm effect also. Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Haruhila at your service. Haruhila. <laughs> Got it. So I'm going to... Uh, yeah, it's not. It's not every day I lay my hand. Okay, it's just so weird. That's a so weird number. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, your hand no, might. Okay, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna yeah. use my lay on hands. Sure. Um, with on um, Valerie. How many and points? Give, um, I give Valerie. Uh, how much? How many? How many? Oh, yeah, let me see. It's five per paladin level, is it not? I forget. Where, where is my... How many lay on hands can I do? In my, in my actions. Features and traits. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna give... Um, uh, 15. Cool. She's at 20 HP. <clears throat> Let's make it. Let's make it twenty. Let's make it twenty. She's at twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. I think that's my action. And oh, wait. Uh, and my bonus action is okay. Move. No, I don't want to wake him up. Uh, no, I'll just bring. I'll just call my um. Tear Fang. Tear Fang with me. Yeah. Julio. Julio. Yeah. All right, that's my turn. All oh, okay. right. Turn. 
Um, Astra, you're up. Astra! Muted! Oh no, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, Astra is going to... Uh, does Valerie look like... 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 like uh, she looks okay. Um, she looks okay. Like, should I top her up? Uh, you can think... you can help Vivian now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Or if you Astra... want to, you can also revive the other dead. But I don't know if you care <sighs> about them. <laughs> See, Derek Matix. Um, um as yeah, um... okay. I'm I'm worried. I'm. I don't have a I don't have a diamond like on hand. I I I ain't balling like uh, Ronin, <laughs> okay. so I cannot revive him. Uh, but I will uh heal like cast heal on uh the other archon Vivian. Okay. How much Ooh. healing is that? Uh, I actually I'll just healing word her. You're not yeah. worthy of like a full ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she, you know, unless she is powerful, but whatever. No, we don't know that. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You get a second level spell slot. Yeah. Two D four. You nine HP. Got it. She gets um. Me. So that'll be my bonus action healing word, and then for my main action, uh, is there anyone else that needs to be taken care of? Uh, Lumi's pretty uh, much got like these three people like locked up. Maulagi. <laughs> so, honestly, if you have any buffs you want to set up, maybe now is the time. I used yeah, healing word, Mangood. Yeah. Uh, Wait, who did you heal? Uh, see Vivian. Just so that oh. they could be, she'll she'll say like, please remember the wolf card came to your aid as well. Uh, yeah. And then she is gonna action surge, and then she's gonna action surge. Uh huh. And then she will cast bless at. The, she'll upcast bless so everyone will get bless. Yes. Nice. Wow. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Um. How, how many what's, people exactly? What's a big ass bless? Uh, one, two, all get three. Four. If I upcast it at a fourth level, what is that? That would be three, five people, I believe. Yeah, I will cast it. Uh, on. She won't cast it on herself. She'll cast it on Urzi, uh, uh Lumi, Ronan, Haru, and uh. Uh, as a okay, as she's get out. Lay you, lay you, lay you among good more. Yes, okay, fine. Erzy, Lumi, yeah, Erzy, Lumi, um, Ronan, Roy, and Harun Alanke. Uh, they're the ones that are all up, all up in there. Yeah, the Fab Five, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So she'll just cast Bless, and then, uh, yeah, that's it. I don't think I can do any bonus actions on my second turn. Got it. All right. Yeah. That's it. Cool, yo, cool, yo. Uh, that ends round one. As um, Apizudel and Xanthipos um, now come, so they were flying around this like in in like a large indoor cavern, uh, underground cavern, and then they crash back into the temple. Boof! Like around oh here, crushing, crushing, oh crushing Derek Matix. So Derek Matix is extra dead. No, <laughs> extra dead. And then uh, with Xanthipos atop of the uh, the the ancient red dragon, Xanthipos does look hurt though. Uh, but they are oh, here, and Xanthipos is is. Uh, you know, shart- shouting. So they're having this, like, you know, s- like cinematic back and forth. Uh, yeah. But uh, at this point, I will say that uh, Apizudel, you know, fires some, like, 
uh, lightning strikes at Xanthippos, knocking him down, hitting him there. And then the ancient red dragon is able to pin down Xanthippos. Oh Xanthippos is now like, you know, part of him is like, like, like on and in the lava with yeah. the, the red dragon, like has a, a large claw on Xanthippos' neck because the ancient dragon is, you know, much larger than Xanthippos. Uh, so at this point, Apizodel will now address you, the wolf's guard, uh, as he sees that um, a lot of uh, the his allies within the high court uh, are already eliminated. And he, you know, didn't even expect that um, he would be able to get out of this uh, smoothly. He then uh, says to all of you, Wolf's God, you have your two choices. You let me leave, and I will not harm Fugisia and its citizens, or you continue fighting me, and should you succeed in defeating me, how could you hope to control uh, this red dragon? But you know, they saw the amulet. Like, you guys did. That's a passive perception. Yep. Um, is that something you want to risk? Get the amulet? What do you think, guys? Like, Cause... yes. Uh, like, how do you know that where he got the amulet from and where he placed it back is on him or it and it doesn't like teleport to another pocket dimension or somewhere Ew. oh but the others i want to try to check it out does anybody has some kind of magic to scan him or something Scan, him. Scan his body. Hashtag <laughs> X-ray vision. X-ray vision. Is <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I have a. <laughs> what do we guys think? Do we wanna, you know, just kill Episodo anyway and then worry when about? When somebody disintegrates his clothes, then we'll find I out. I want to. I, I'm. I'm really actually annoyed by how he wa- how, how he called me a fake Zudel in front of my face and make me feel bad. So I really want to get back with him at him. Yeah. In my for me, I also want to kill him because then like one less you know uh, member of the scaled cup to worry about. So got it. There's that. What about the rest of you guys? What's your where's your heart? You know, going I to. Want to uh, I want to kill him. Escape. I really yeah, want to I think he's escape. he's escaped I'm, us multiple times already. Yeah, I think Ash is sick of it. Yeah, I, I, I want to kill him. I want to see if he has an amulet on him. He burned. Him. He burned him. my, you know, my ancestors' lands. Time yeah. to strip him off his okay. wardrobe. Okay. Him. Oh, oh, fuck you, man. All right, you have decided. Let me once just wants to say, um, my spell only lasts for one minute. One minute. Yep. <laughs> I, I was so worried, okay. okay. The DM was about to say, So you have chosen death. You have chosen death. <laughs> just, just no, you have that. chosen death. You have chosen his death. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Katiana, you are up. Farewell on deck. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see <laughs> what happens. See, see, if I had been in that corner, if I just stayed there. Well, you, you're already there, so you have to <laughs> yeah, voila. face the reality. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sorry. Hold on. Yo, you can fly, you know. You have the wing boots. Yeah, it's it's outside the... The temple, yeah. Is it outside? Yeah, if you move here where Farewell is, you can you have line of sight. Sige, I'll do that. Do it. And I'll shoot. With advantage, because you came from hiding. Yes. 
Uh -huh. So this I'm means stealthy, you stealthy. can sneak attack with this one too. He's flying DM, right? Uh, no, because they're on the ground. They're pinning Xanthipos into the lava pool. Oh, okay. uh, but okay. he is like at a high angle because he's on the shoulder of the, the dragon. 25 will hit. That is 6 damage to Apizodel. Uh, roll sneak attack, please. With advantage, may I have sneak? Nope. That's just damage. That's not a hit. Oh. Another 8 damage. Uh, that's 14 total. And then I will... Can I hide? You can hide behind a pillar. You can hide behind this pillar. Oh, yeah. that's crazy. 5d6 and it's 1, 2, 2, 1, yeah. 2. Ugh. Roll your okay. stealth check. C, space, stealth, space, ADV. Ooh, 14. Not as good, but we'll see if you are hidden or not. Okay, that's the end of your turn. Fearwell, you are up. Lumi on deck. Right. Wait, like, throw the arrow DM now, right? So... <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, fear well. Uh, so I will attack. Alright. And... The dragon? Api Zudil. Api Zudil. 31 to hit, will hit for... Ridiculous, what the fuck? Plus and then my second attack, 22 to hit. Uh, 22 hits, right? Yes, it is. And hits he gets 33 damage. Let's bring him to 88. Sheesh. Bloody. Alright. And. Will I give point? Well, Torin can. Try to grapple the dragon, what the fuck? Uh, Torin is large. You cannot, she cannot grapple. You can only grapple up to one size larger than you, Mansiguro, right? Okay. Yeah, because he can't attack up his <laughs> he can. He can try to attack the dragon. Uh, yeah. I mean, at this point... Because yeah. the Ma dragon is still attacking Xanthipos, then might as well. Yeah. No women said. Do it. Okay. 28 to hit. Nice. Yep. 29 damage to the Dargon. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice. 28 to hit, 21 damage. Yep, that's it. And then... Okay, so... The... Two other wolves can throw their shit. Okay. So I'll just roll... D20 plus 8. Three times na lang daan, no? Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, does, doesn't hit. Does the 21 hit? Uh, the dragon? The... Oh, the, the... No, no, no. Apizudel. Apizudel. It will hit Apizudel. Very good. Very good. Very so this good. is Kla's attacks. Kla? Okay. Okay. Kla. So one... Uh, 2d4 plus 12. So... He takes 15 additional damage, and then for Thor's attack, 14 doesn't hit. 19, does 19 hit? 19. See, Apizadel, right? Yeah. It hits. Okay. Oh, two 19s. Very good. So another 2d4 plus 12. 17. So, 15 plus 17. That's it from a turn. Ah, no, that's for Apizodel. Ang katong... How much yeah. other... So, 32 damage. 
32. So it becomes 120 damage to Apizuda. That's it. Got Thank it. Thank you. All right. Good stuff. Uh, Lumi, you're up. All right. So Lumi, um, after, like, for a moment, Lumi hesitated because he is definitely um, afraid of dragons. He uh, finds the strength to steal himself from his um, previous adventures and uh, is reaffirmed that he is a, a student of the Guardian. Yeah. So he turns towards um, Apizudel and flies a little far uh, here, I think that's 40 feet um, from the direction north, Lumi um, plays on his harp, mutters a few incantations and casts a spell uh, synaptic static level 7 mm -hmm. awesome Oh man, that sucks. But no, those are really bad guys. Int save. Int save for Apizudel or both of them. Both? Yeah, it's a... Ah, within range. Yeah, it's like a yeah. fireball, but you know, a psychic attack. Got it. Okay. Apizudel will do an int save first. She has a plus five on this, and he has advantage against spells. Oh, wow. So, hang on, let me look for a plus five. That's this one. Nope, he rolled a nine. And then, the Dargon, Ancient Red Dragon, Intelligence, 18 will fail, so both get full damage, I believe. Is 23? Uh, yeah, it's, a really bad, it's a really bad roll, but like twos and ones and threes. It's okay, anyway, damage is yeah, damage, it's, you know? Yeah. It's 23, but uh, a target has muddled dots for one minute. So during that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from all its attack rolls. And ability checks. Shit. Yeah. And constitution saving throws. Mm -mm. What? What? Okay. Okay. I'll color this red. I'll color this red also. Got it. What else you doing? Uh, Cloud is going to fly 60 feet here. Right, how much Cloud. is 60 feet? Let me measure. Yeah, 60 feet here. He will carry Skippy along with him. Mm -hmm. So Cloud and Skippy are just there. Cool, That's it. That ends my turn. Alright. That is Lumi's turn. It's now the NPC's turns. <laughs> um, let's start Sabat. Um, Hector Ajax is not gonna do anything. He's weeping for Atlas being disintegrated. Kurtix is uh maybe maybe he can help the the ladies out or something. Yeah, Viv and Valerie. Yeah. What can he do? But sure, he's gonna go there and he's gonna put a hand on Ronan's shoulder and like nod and it's like, thank you for saving our archons. We are in your debt, and and you know, j j just yeah, just be the, be over there. And then, Viv and Valerie, you know what? They're gonna they're gonna go outside. They're gonna run away from this situation. So we're gonna get Curtix is gonna you know lead them to the outside. They're gonna go. go <laughs> Go away. <laughs> uh, they're gonna stay there out of harm's way for now. Um, yeah, that's all the NPCs, right? And these guys aren't... I think this guy's extra dead. 
Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yerzadel, you're up. Ronin on deck. Okay. Uh, Yerzadel, you're muted. Yerzadel, you're muted. Oh my god, I, uh, why? Um, so um, basically, um, what I wanted to do was, um, how far, how high up are they? Uh, I, I mean, uh, I mean the 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 episode. He's probably like fifteen to twenty feet up, like on the shoulder of the dragon. Uh, you're already flying, so you're probably like yeah. eye level with him. Ah, oh, okay, good, good, good. So basically, like, like, um, I wanted, I wanted to surprise attack him. I don't know if it's, if it's possible to do that, but yeah, cause um, I, I, this is my plan. Uh, this is, I just want to try this out. Okay. Um, I want to do a, a meta magic, and and I, I want a, a quicken spell, mm -hmm. and yeah, I want to do. Uh, mind sliver on him. Mm. Yeah, so he, he needs to do an int int save. Uh, mind sliver. What does mind sliver do? Uh, um, it, it, um, it does one d four psychic damage, but it increases since he's yeah. level fourteen. And uh, when you fail. I really fail. I think you uh, yeah, add I the see, one point subtract that, yeah. Why? Yeah, I, I rolled it. Sorry, I, I rolled it. Why? Where I forgot to roll it. Yeah, it says here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is my, my, yeah. So you drive a disorienting psychic, yeah. So you need to do, uh, and you need to do one, subtract one D4 on your does, next saving throw. What does Quicken Spell do? Doesn't Quicken Spell make a bonus action spell an action? Or? Yes, I, I will make this as my bonus action. So yeah. I will start with the Quicken Spell first. Wait, what? Is that how Quicken spell works? I know. I'm, I'm gonna cast an. I'm I'm gonna cast an action. But I I can start with a meta magic though. So I I'll use one action, uh, as a as a bonus action. So I use the cantrip first as my bo bonus action. Yeah, he's he's using his bonus action first to cast a cantrip through Quicken spell. So. Ah. So cast a uh, false spell monadage. I mean. Okay. I don't know. Okay, sure. So, mm -hmm. int int saving throw. Yeah, you need to do an int saving throw. Sure. Yeah. He has plus five with advantage. Is nineteen? Does uh, fails your your? Yeah, it's saving. twenty. Yep. And then, what is the damage rolled though? Uh, the damage nine? I the damage I rolled is nine. Okay. okay. But okay. it has an effect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it has an yeah. effect since it you missed. Uh, you need to do one minus one d four for ev for your saving throw until your next turn for every saving throw on sure. your next until and the next turn. And then this is where you do another spell and so yes. it's minus an hang save. Okay. Yes. Do it. So I'm gonna, yeah, and I want to um use my equipment. So I can use it just for the sake I want to use it. So, so um, I want to use the astral shard since I used the meta magic. I teleported here. Ooh. So he won't notice I where I went. Like, hmm? where did you teleport? So he doesn't know where I teleported. I I, I was here. What then? Twenty thirty here. No, no, here, here, here. Got it. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Is, is it is it is it okay? Can, do I have I I uh, I have um I can, I can see him right? You can see him, yeah. Yeah. So I will now cast my my um psychic lance on him. Oh, shit. Do it. So he doesn't notice where I am. So he's really shocked. <gasps> oh, where you are? There you are. <gasps> okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna cast this now. I'm gonna upcast it as well. What level? Level four, a fourth level. So it's uh, it's on level five spells level five. Okay. So I yeah cast at fifth level. 
So you need to do an intelligence saving throw again. Okay. And you need to do 1d4 minus 1d4 on, on your saving throw. Got it. And not only that, you need to roll the 1d6 as well from the muddled thoughts of the... Lumi? Synaptic static, yeah, that Lumi Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, I don't this need to... Combo is... Yeah, I don't need to do the subtraction because he, he, he rolled Failed. 17. Nice. Okay. <laughs> So you're gonna do 33 damage, and you are incapacitated for until the start the whole, of, of the next uh, turn. Until those next turn. Until yeah, until my next turn. 185. Ridiculous. And then one minus one d6, no, from synaptic static. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, from the same as you did. I'll roll that one d6. Muddled thoughts. So he's really like, yeah, oh my no, god. He... <laughs> and then made, what does I that made him... look like, no? Yeah, he's, and then I he's drooling. <laughs> so basically, what I'm doing right now is I did like a like a like a, a uh, like a psychic glare at him, and yeah. I looked at him, and it went through his brain. Oh, got it. All right, and I'm done. Good stuff. Uh, Ronin, you're up. Haru on deck. Okay. Uh, hmm. What I'll do first is I will shoot at uh, Api Zudel. Hmm. So you see Ronin, instead of pulling out the draconic looking gun that he has, he pulls out a silvery, shiny revolver instead. Hmm. So... Uh, I'm using the the gun holy avenger and I'm going to shoot at uh, Api Zudel twice. Do it. And uh, I will use uh, one charge for each shot to add to the 10 damage radiant damage to Ooh. it. Wait, I have a question though. If he's incapacitated, doesn't he fall down? No, he just can't take reaction. Yeah. That's the condition, man. Ah, okay. I thought like he's like no power or just okay. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, see. Okay, thank you. Okay, that this is. Oh, sorry. Wrong. I know. Wrong a. word. Yeah. A. Will hit fifteen damage. Okay. So that's fifteen from the gun, and then two d ten, and since this also hits him. I will also be using my arcane jolt na damage. That one adds an additional 2d6 as well of uh, damage because I'm a level 14 artificer now. So there's cool. that. So total damage is, uh, this is from the first shot, 15 plus 11, that's 26 plus eight. 34 damage so far. Mm. So that's from yeah. the first one. And then I'll shoot him again uh, and use another charge. So. Let's see here. Oh shit. Will that hit? Uh, that'll hit. His AC is 16. Oh, okay. So. He gets 16 damage plus 2d10. 4. So that's 20 points of damage from the second shot. And okay. then, uh, as a bonus action, I will try to have Roy. Um, he will take out the staff that I imbued with a spell so that Roy will cast Vortex Warp on Apizodel. Mm. And I can make him teleport right next to Haru so that she uh, she can, like, beat him up. Wow. So what you need to do as Api Zudel, you will need to... Uh, I'm checking Vertex Warp. I believe you must do a constitution save to resist the being forcibly teleported. Uh, constitution... Uh, my spell save is 17, but 
you are um your muddled thoughts should lower it hopefully. got it minus 1d4 right uh 1d6 1D from the synaptic static i think the mind slivered is gone na? i think let me double got check it. lang okay That's only for the next right so yeah. one one saving throw or two diba? yeah so okay, he has, he has advantage against spells. He has a plus seven in constitution. Uh, 24. 24, and then roll a, D, a, a D6. Ah, that might fail. Yeah. Uh, 1D6. 3, making it a 21. Uh, he resists that. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, Silvery Barb's reaction. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you have to roll again. A D20. Roll again? Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, you just have to roll and then. I yeah. have to lower, use the new roll. Any, yeah. The lower, R1 the lower D20 roll. 20 yeah. plus 7. 12, so he fails. So he takes wow. And I give advantage to. Give it to Haru. Haru. Yeah. Wow, good shit, guys. So, so Api Zudel is now teleported here, right in front of Haru. Okay. Between. So it's like I get over here. Right? Yeah. yeah. Get get Scorpio. Over. Wow. Get over gonna, here. Oh, the teamwork, you guys. It's great. <laughs> okay, uh, I hope my dice uh, doesn't fail me. <laughs> my turn. You have advantage on one attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good shit, guys. Okay. So yeah, when Roy points his uh, staff at Apizadel, you see the space rippling through, and you see like a portal just consume Apizadel, and it appears between us, putting him right in front of Haru. And then I tell Ron, Roy and Ronin both say like, "He's all yours." And that ends oh. my turn. Wow. Okay, what you doing, okay. Haru? So yes, I will. Oh, yeah, I was I was concerned about that because I was like, should I just use my my spear? But no, I get to use my trusty long, long sword. sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Okay, let me let me. Okay. Uh, okay. What do I? A. Just wail on him. Yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> you know what? Wait. Wait. Um. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. Oh. Plus ten. Oh wait. I should use. I should use the guided strike if it works. <laughs> okay. It misses. His yeah. AC sixteen. Is that with an advantage? Yeah, that should be with advantage. Oh no! I don't know how to add. Exclamation mark! A space long sword space ADV. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that again. A space long sword. ADV. One. Just press one. But one and three. I mean, just, just type one. 26. There, go. there you go. Coolio, would you like to smite? Yeah. Are of you gonna course. Smite? I would love to smite. <laughs> I, would, I would smite and I would also do Orcish Fury. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Orcish. So I need to roll one more. Uh, one more. Uh, I mean, so I'm going to hit. Uh, hit one more roll for the die, so one one d eight plus seven. For the smite, doing what do I need to roll? What spell slot? Spell oh, yeah. slot do you choose? <laughs> oh yes, yes. But, but this is my Orcish Fury is 12. Got it. Spell slot. And... No, that's a... Like a... A feat? Yeah. Uh, no, feat. I meant for the smite. Yeah, the smite I will use... Um... Level... Where's the smite in my spells? <laughs> 
No, it's just depending. Like oh, if yeah, you yeah, choose yeah. all two, then it's going to be to the eight. If it's in honor. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to be in ten, so I'm gonna do a level four. Oh, six D eight. All right. So what do I what do I roll again? Six D eight. Six D eight. There you go. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I can. You, do you have an extra attack? And then, okay, actually, you have um, yeah. I, but I have improved divine smite. Does that mean the target takes an extra one d eight radiant damage? I don't know. Yeah, because we're not using the. Are you using divine smite? Uh, I don't know about Dude, study your things. <laughs> no, but divine smite is the. Uh, Smite, isn't that smite? Yeah. Improved divine smite. Mm, I'm trying to look. Sad it's new that. when I leveled up. Okay, I'll read your sheet. Let me look. Sad. Harubit. Uh, oh. Divine smite. Whenever yeah. you hit a melee weapon, the, the target takes an 8. Uh, okay, roll another 1d8. We're all just one Ooh, more. Nice, nice. Nice. Radiant, so, no? It's always no, passive. Yeah. It uh you always have an extra one D eight damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh regardless if of whether they, or not. If she smite. smites. No. Uh yeah, even her regular smite. strikes have, uh, okay, okay, have nice. extra. Yeah, as long as it's a melee weapon. Yeah. Ooh. So remember that dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's new a, with a new uh oh, with good. level. He he uh, looks he looks really hurt. Um, do you have an extra have one attack? More attack. Extra have one more attack. Yes, I do. Do it. So I'm don't, so don't I, I, one. I swing once going downwards, and I'm gonna try again going upwards. Yeah, don't roll two not ones. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Exclamation mark A space long sword space A D V. Yeah, I got it. One, one. This. Type one. Oh, okay. Nice. Twenty-seven to hit. Yes. <clears throat> All right. And then Do you... roll a uh, one d and... eight extra. Yeah, one d eight. One d eight, and then if you decide to smite again, you yeah. know. I shall smite again. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you know, can I do two d eight instead? So that sure. way, it's two. Um, two d eight for the for the. For the smite. Never mind. What? No, no, never. Is it six d eight for the no. smite? Can I do seven d eight? You can do seven d eight instead. Yeah. Wait, wait. You only have one fourth, fourth level, level slot, slot, so you yeah, can. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I'll yeah. make it third level. Sorry. Third yeah. level yeah. is how many? Three. I got three, three plus. Three plus two. Five d eight. Yeah, five d eight. So and it's going plus... to be six d eight for you because one d eight. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. Okay, there we go. 23. Yeah. Oh, that's 68. You should post the 5 d No, she has an extra 1d8 for radiant damage. Oh, nice. 3, right, 3, right. 4. Right. Okay. Haru, please describe how you divine smite uh, Apizudel <laughs> uh, into the ground and dead. Yeah, the power of tear compels you. <laughs> yeah, okay. So... You know what? I'm gonna, for cinematic purposes, my elemental, uh, my spiritual weapon. I go, I, I look at my spiritual weapon, right, and a nod, and then you know, of course, uh, since it's a divine smite, and I'm using, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, uh, what's this? Uh, a follower of the god tier, yeah. so you hear the, you hear the music, uh, tears in heaven. By Eric Clapton. Oh my god. <laughs> but but in, you know, Gregorian chant form. <laughs> so I was like guided by the divine smite. I swung downwards. <laughs> and then there's bells. <laughs> there's like the sound of a teardrop somewhere. <laughs> No, no, yeah. As I slash upwards, I can see from the, the eyes of uh, Appy Zadel. You know, he he looks uh, he looks upwards, and then he's, I see a teardrop. <laughs> uh, 
my god. <laughs> and he glows as he dies. Uh, yeah, because you're radiant. <laughs> god. You, the oh, sorry, I, I, he, Api is dead? <laughs> yes. Uh, in front of you, might I add. That's amazing. Uh, and then, and then while well, I saw him die, and see his soul leave his body, my my, I gave a little bit of a smirk. Yeah, he falls to his knees, uh, and then, uh, after having been slashed twice by Harubid, he tries his best to turn around to look at your uh, to look you in the eye one last time before he falls into the ground. <clears throat> And dies. Damn. All right. I was uh, wondering if he would actually say. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would he say? What would he say? What did you say? Fake. Fake. Uh, <laughs> no. Haru, did you still have a bonus action? Oh my. The dragon. Oh yeah, I turn to the dragon and then I uh, I look at Tirfang and then I use my spiritual weapon. Oh. Yeah. No. When Captain Haru throws her mighty Tirfang. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Let's see if it works. First. <laughs> Wait. Oh, and, uh, how do I do I cast spiritual weapon? Yeah. Uh you, you can roll you it in just roll. Roll, no, no. 1d20 plus I don't know. Or you can roll it in the sheet. You have a sheet, <laughs> diba? What? D&D Beyond. What I, that, yeah, I, I normally roll it in D&D Beyond. Pero, does she have her spiritual weapon? It's, it's, like... If it's connected. It is 1d8 plus 1. It's 1d8 plus 1. It's no, that's the damage. Pila oh, yung modifier oh. para sa attack. 1d20 plus... It's plus 6. It's plus 6. Okay, so uh, 1d20 plus... Is that still with advantage? Uh, no. 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 Oh. 12 yeah, will glass, miss. No, that's not glass. It's okay. not strong enough? Nope. Nope. Do you move or end your turn there? I, I end my turn here. Alright. Oh. Astra, you're up. Let's Are we go. still gonna fight the, the dragon guys? Uh, it's up to yeah. you. Let's 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 stop it while while we you know because is there a way to trap it? Yeah, or, look no? for the the is there a way to, strip. Yeah, is there a way to trap it? Put it back in the mirror. Oh, no, the mirror is broken. broken. No strip. You need to you, you need to strip. Oh, strip strip Absidil and get the amulet from his deck. Um. Not from his deck. What? <laughs> no, from his neck. <laughs> Well, unless if it moved to his neck, then get the I, I don't know what to do with this dragon, and I'm, I'm worried that the spell that I want to do is... Like, he's just gonna... Like, he's just gonna pass it. Yeah. Check, check, Absidel, maybe the, the amulet is still around him. And yeah, see if it works. Well, what, what am I gonna do? Try checking out... Check Appy and see. Uh, oh, his his amulet. Yeah. Uh, Astra is going to like he's just a bloody pulp at this point. So she just plucks the amulet off of Appy Zudel, uh, and then she please is make going a, to please make an investigation check. Uh -oh. Wait, I'll, I'll run up to there by the way because I was far day. I used all my movements. Yep. <laughs> Uh, make an investigation check. Okay, mm -hmm. investigation check. Oh God, <laughs> the three. I rolled wow. an eight, eight, eight. You cannot find it. Oh, it's it's. There's so much blood and tissue. Oh my God, let's <laughs> all try and find it. Strip, strip, strip. Can you just strip um, him? Make it finding easier. That's As Astra. That's your action. Yeah, that's your action. Oh. You have a bonus action. Your I bonus. have a bonus action? What the fuck am I gonna do with my bonus action? There's nothing I can do. You're smart, dude. Huh? You can heal yourself. You can, you, you can cast a spell that's a bonus action, or you can summon your stars. And... Yeah, your spiritual weapon. 
Yeah, I guess. It just kind of feels like I'm throwing a toothpick at like a... <laughs> <laughs> um, does anyone need... If I do a quick scan around, does anyone need a wink? Or, okay, okay, I'm going to Maybe I give a little bit of a wink. I give a little bit of a wink. A little bit of healing. Oh, okay, okay. Healing. All right. Uh, Asher will uh, hit um, Urzi with a healing word then. For a bonus action. Cool. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. How much do I heal? One second. I'll get you at... Uh, uh, here you go. Uh, dog shit. Eight. Otso. That was at the third... That was at a third level, huh? Oh I'm really so bad. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Eight. That's it. Okay. Remind me what Muddled Thoughts does again. It uh, gives you subtraction by 1d6. Uh, so the, your, the, how, how long does it last? For as long as Lumi concentrates on synaptic static. No, no, no. Synaptic static is not concentration. You you oh. can choose to do an int save on your turn. Ah, ah okay. What he said. Int save on my turn. Hang on. Let me check that. Again. So many spells is the problem with high level D and D. <laughs> so many choices. Uh, synaptic static. Choose a point range. Uh, model toss for one minute during that. It rolls a D so All attack rolls and ability checks as well as constitution saving throws to maintain a target can make intelligence. Ah, I understand. Okay. Um, within its muddled thoughts, uh, the dragon like shakes its head, um, attempting to get rid of it. When does he? At the end of each of its turns, he it attempts to fight through the muddled thoughts, uh, but notices when Apizudel dies, uh, the domination that was on him lifts for. But a brief moment, he it the dragon takes this time to search the room for where Apizudel is, finds him here, uh, ru rushes over there, stomping over uh, Xanthippos, right? And no, hang on, let me do this. Stomping over Xanthippos and. Shit, hang on, guys, because the tokens are. Yeah. And over Yurzudel and uh, bites Apizudel, keeping Apizudel in his mouth, and just goes that direction. At this point, I would say a lot of people can, but it's. Yurzudel, Haru, Astra, Roy, and Ronin, if you want to, you can make your attacks of opportunity against him. Uh, but okay, how do I do that? It has to be a melee attack, though. I don't like you. But, unless you're a warcaster. Uh, yeah, unless you're a warcaster with Booming Blade. But mm. I will say, regardless of whatever you do, he will keep moving. Uh -huh. <coughs> Yeah, sorry. With uh, Apizudel in his mouth, right? Okay. Goes over here, breaking down these walls and pillars and everything. Okay. Whatever okay. damage he would have taken from your opportunity att attacks, he will take. <coughs> Xanthippos will uh, rise and like um, stand around, uh, like by there, looking at what's about to happen, and then in. At this area, um, while Apizudel was in the dragon's mouth, Ap the dragon will breathe fire, but keep his mouth closed. And then uh, he spews out like whatever metal things would have survived the short burst of flame in his mouth. And Finally, the amulet will clink, clank, clank, fall onto the ground. 
and Ooh. he and he will slam his claw on down uh-huh. onto the amulet Boosh, to break it and the domination will uh end he will turn to look at you and for the first time he will speak oh what oh yeah he can't speak so okay he will say let me leave here and i will Uh, he speaks in kind of like a broken common. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't know how to speak that well. So he will actually, uh, let me retcon a bit. He says, let me leave me no burn. Uh, I will approach the dragon will step back a little. Can we heal him? And I th- I tried to speak to the dragon in Draconic, which I know. And I tell him... Uh, I tell him in Draconic, as long as you keep that promise of not harming anyone, we will leave you alone. Go in peace. Oh... Okay, what are the rest of you? Uh, the dragon not, like, uh, sees Ronin, like, uh, can kind of understand what Ronin is saying, and then he looks at the rest of you to see if any of you are in disagreement or whatever. Uh, I, I want to talk with him if, if, if it's okay. No, 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 nothing brash, nothing, uh, uh, what you call this? Nothing, uh, Aggress- aggressive, no sure. aggression. Just wanted to talk with him. Is it okay to come near? I, I'm flying already, though. Like, yeah, you can you can attempt to come near. And then and uh, oh my gosh, something wrong. Okay, I want to go near him and then at his eye level while while I'm flying with my wings. Mm-hmm. And I say, um, like can I? I wanted to ask him like. Like, who did this to you? And if, if, uh, like, yeah, I just want to make a conversation because I'm, I'm out, doesn't know anything about what happened in the past. Mm. And then I, I feel a, a sense of connection with him since I'm also, my ancestor is the red dragon. Mm. Um, I have a red dragon lineage. So, like, a part of me wants to create maybe there's something in him that has a connection of my own past. So, I want to see, I want to discuss with it, with him if possible. Uh, he will he will mutter one word. He will say, "I Zudel." And then and then I I take note of it. And then I say, "God speed on your journey." And then and then I and I will and I will look back and I bid him. Uh, you know, I just wish him luck wherever he goes. And that's okay. At least now I know where, uh, like, like at least I have like, uh, so I have someone that I have to research on in a sense. Mm-hmm. All right. The dragon will okay, then, I'm good. the dragon will then expand his wings <clears throat> up high before uh, plunging himself into the air. Uh, can I just shout <laughs> sure. the dragon? Sure. Uh, so basically, I will gesture that my weapon is gone, right? And I will just shout, Do you know your name? <laughs> uh, hmm. He will circle back and like fly around uh, the temple and he will respond and he will say let me see if I finalize I this I, I, I <laughs> suggested a name before 
Is it a Shardalon? Not right? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, I, I remember, I remember. Uh, but also a, a, an old fire, like red, red dragon, right? Uh, I forgot. I decided against that. Oh, okay. But, but now he will say that his name is... As he's circling around, as this red, ancient red dragon circles around the temple, you ask the you ask the name. Uh, you ask him, "Do you know your name?" Uh, it will circle back, and it will roar. It will roar into the cavern, and echoing from the cavern walls, you will hear Ashtar Gold. So his name is Astargoth. Astargoth. And Astargoth will... Before Astargoth uh, flies away, can Astra walk up to him and then uh, she'll put her hand on his foot um, and then she will say... Uh, will cast heal on him. Aww. Um, so he gets seventy hit points back. Got it. Oh, yes. Uh, and then she'll say, "You have waited a long time, uh, and suffered enough. May Mistra bring you grief and peace, wherever you may find it." And then she'll heal him. Okay. As Aster God flies away, or like a circles around the, the place, uh, Lumi telepathically sends him a message saying, Do not ever meddle with the affairs of human or any other mortals. If you do so, and you find that you have been a threat, we will descend upon you. We may not, yeah, totally, Ashra. We may not be able to be successful, but more will come. Now, live in peace, Ashra. Right. And Aster goes after. <clears throat> Uh, roaring his name into the caverns, he will fly and find his way out of Fugesia. And from, from the surface where the local people and merchants and traders go about their day uh, trading with one another, uh, their activities are disturbed as a loud whoosh, uh, as, uh, and gush of wind blow over them as Astar Goth uh, exits one of the caverns of Fugesia and, and uh, Astar Goth will soar high up into the sky uh, so much so that he eventually becomes but a shadow above the clouds he disappears and the people of Fugesia will have something to talk about for uh, many, many years to come. But before Ooh. that, <clears throat> before that, something needs to be settled. As within the, the High Court's temple here, uh, let's let me clean up the map a little bit. Uh, let's get rid of all these stuff. Xanthippos reverts back to his fire genasi form, and the the high court uh, resume their resume. Or start another meeting, and with with Xanthippos requesting that the Wolf's Guard remain as uh, witnesses to what is about to happen. All right, so let's get rid of all these 
notes and stuff. Hang on, guys. So we're still doing it here in this broken building, like the yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we're, that would be very poetic to do it here, though, I think. Yeah, you know, let no crisis go to waste, you know. <laughs> let this be a reminder of the battle. Alright, so... Oh my god, I killed two of the high... <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, yeah. hopefully they remember that I resurrected one of them and they're like, it's okay, we didn't like them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they attacked us first. They attacked me. Yeah, it was uh, self defense. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, this point, uh, the much of the rubble was moved out a little bit so that uh, you can see some semblance of the glory that this high temple used to have just a few moments ago. Um, uh, Vivian and Valerie, too shocked and ashamed to speak. Uh, Xanthippos, quite tired as well. He's resting, like, he's sitting down and leaning against this wall here. Uh, Curtex will uh, step, uh, no, before Curtex will step forward, Argus actually, you know, um, starts starts muttering some bullshit to 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 uh get him out or like ex exempt him from a little bit of trouble as he can he will say so it was you the archons it was your fault you were in cahoots with apizodel <laughs> and then uh vivian and valerie remain silent but curtix will like uh butt heads with argus and say do not use this as a means for your own escape. You, as well as Zamantha and Bix, will answer for your treachery. But it is clear that Fugisia will need a new Archon. As, as he looks at Vivian and Valerie, and they will stand up uh, putting like uh, sh uh, their arms around each other to support each other and then they will nod in agreement and yes yes we are in agreement and we will accept whatever consequences the high court will deem w uh, suited for us and then uh Hector Ajax will mutter and pipe up and he will say, All right then. Let's proceed with our nominations. I nominate <laughs> Xanthippos to be the next Archon of Fugisia. And then uh, Curtex will say, I second this nomination. Xanthippos is behind you, Yurzudo. He's leaning against the wall. He is quite tired. Uh, mm. He will attempt to stand up. And he's he's quite weak. He raises a Can hand. Can I give him a hand? Okay, great. He uh, puts a hand on your shoulder. And he limps forward. Uh... And Curtix like moves a little bit to the side here. <coughs> Xanthippo stands there with Yurzadil beside. And then uh, Xanthippo waits uh, for any other nominations. Uh, Bix is is, <laughs> is is stupid, so Bix is going to jump up forward and he's going to be like... Bix nominates Argus, and then before he finishes that sentence, like Hector Jacks just like <laughs> just like hits him on the head, like bonks him on the head, like bonk. Uh, I love him. <laughs> and then I love Bix. And then Curtix just says, "If there is no one else that will uh, contest this nomination." 
There is no need to move to a voting stage. Welcome now the new Archon of Fugisia, Xanthippos. And the High Court will bow and step aside so Xanthippos can stand uh, in front of what used to be uh, one of the fire genasis and one of the Fugisian gods here. Uh, that's now actually like just crumbled. Uh, Xanthippos will stand there with a hand um, on Yurzadil's shoulder and then he will try to find some strength to speak and he will say, <clears throat> uh, he will say, we discard now our old ashes of the past. No longer will we hide behind the old smoke of our ancestors. As the world around us falls into chaos, we will not stand idly and watch. Our isles are meant to be symbols of trade, collaboration, and unity. Yes, we are one nation in Fugisia, but we are also one people in Tarin. This time, a new age of fire will emerge, and we will burn brightly. And Kurtix will say, hear, hear. And the rest of the high court will politely cl clap. And uh, if there's anything else that you uh, would like to do at this point, you may do so before I wrap up this session. We should. Uh, well, I, I have a question, DM. What's going to happen to Vivian and Valerie? Like, are they going to jail? Are they... Yes. <laughs> well, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they will, be, they will be put to trial in a Fugisian court. And it's likely that they will be uh, sentenced to some time in the dungeons. Uh, I see. Uh, um, Pirwal will... <clears throat> Uh, just tell Santipos, right, that now you are aware of what the world is dealing with as far as this threat is concerned. I hope we can count on you to help us deal with all of this chaos. Santipos will uh, nod uh, nod and he will say of course Fugisia will have Wolfsgu Wolfsguard support I will also say oh, go, go on you go first okay uh, we would also say to send the post uh, uh, we know that you are a very capable individual. Fiogisha will be in good hands. In the same way, you can count on us, the Wolf's Guard, should you need our help. That's it. Okay. Then... I'm going to add and say... Uh, and uh, and may our trades remain open. <laughs> Long live commerce. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah. yeah, I approach Xanthippus as well, and I tell him, as a member of the former royal family, I acknowledge your leadership, Xanthippus, and the Republic will also uh, be happy to... Uh, and look forward to your leadership over Fiogisia. May your reigns be long. Nice. That's it. And for me, I would like to to 
give a look uh, like I, he was like saddling on my shoulder right yeah and then i would i would i would like look at him and said like you did a very amazing job uh back there and if possible i would like to uh, um talk with you if you have enough um energy in the uh, later or, or some uh, some other time to talk with you about uh my lineage if you know anything about it Yeah, like, like I want to know everything about like the the bloodline of Genasi and everything because I have, I'm I'm like everything is dark and all I know right now is uh what happened with the dragon and the dragon said Isadel, and yeah. that's all the clue I know. So yeah, basically try to track it down. Okay. Uh, Misantipos agrees, and after. Uh, the court convenes and all of you return um, to the surface. Um, it feels like it's been uh, weeks that you have been underground and your eyes have spent quite some time adjusting to the sunlight. But it is warm. Uh, not warm like the lava that was surrounding you. Uh, when you were in the caverns, what warm like an embrace. Uh, you Xanthipos invites you to spend some time resting here in Fugisia, and you are treated to uh, the whole the whole nine yards. <laughs> you guys nine. are you guys are uh, being celebrated with a feast, so like. How many days of just feasts every night and parties and everything? You guys are you guys have been booked like a very nice, uh, like like Airbnb with uh with a pool like your own pool and yeah. and uh a part like and then you guys had like access to their um their. Uh, hot springs and whatever so uh Ooh. like the whole shebang love uh, a stone massage Ooh. yeah exactly exactly <laughs> the the for the next few days and in this time your zudel xanthipos does share to you all he knows about your father and basically he reveals that when when your father found him uh by like when your fa when your father was going on his like routine trading on like his merchant vessel on the sea mm -hmm. he found he encountered a a ship wreckage and that was that also had like evidence of burning and in the wreckage he found a a what looked like a young like a baby dragon and at that time, that was Xanthippus. And Ooh. Uh, because your father was a dragon himself, he chose to conceal Xanthippus for a while and teach Xanthippus how to shape change. Uh, and that is why earlier Xanthippus said that everything he is now is because of your father. Ooh, now I get it. Yeah. Um he does explain to you though that um the way dragons work is with their shape change ability. They're not they're not truly fire genasi, right? Because their race is dragon and then when they shape change they can change into whatever race they want or almost whatever okay. race they want. It's just that your father chose the form of fire genasi because he is a citizen of Fugisia. Or, you know, he eventually became a citizen of Fugisia. Oh, okay. Um, I thought he was a, uh, like, I'm from Fuji, Fumi, uh, Fugisia. Fugisia. Yeah, Fugisia. Uh, as far as like the lineage of Aizudel and whatever, um, it's quite hard to trace. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been so long. Yeah, it's uh, like whole, like thousands of years. Like your name, the Zudel name is a very old one, but 
Um, it. Uh, what he can assure you is that you are uh, of your father's bloodline, the true bloodline of uh, uh, the Zudel, and not of Api Zudel's and his grandfather's. He reminds you that. Uh, he tells you that he sees. Uh, he sees a. What's this? Like an unsureness in you, your Zudel. Mm-mm. And he yes. reminds you that uh, you must believe in yourself and, and have confidence. And uh, the, the only thing you should trust in is um, like your will as your will as a dragon and your uh your fire as a fugisian he he says that you are basically a fugisian because your father was yeah. too yeah that's why i really feel comfortable in this place and i say that's why i have a sense of comfort here and then and then i look around and then i like like i notice i really feel welcome and I, and I said, I hope I can create a stronger bond with you and the entire uh, Fugitian uh, community. Okay. Uh, Xanthipos will look forward to your future many visits. Maybe I'll get, uh, I will try to look for real estate. <laughs> I really love the heat here. <laughs> uh, actually, he will say that, oh, that reminds me. And then... Uh, he he will pull up like land, oh like like deeds to like lands here in Fugizia oh. that <laughs> used to be owned by your father, and he will he will say that uh, we could turn over some of uh, like these lands to you. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> but perhaps when the world is is not is in, in a better trouble. state. Yes, exactly. Yes. <laughs> yes, we'll come back to that. Thank you so much for for uh, uh, tell uh, for uh, re, uh, for this information. Thank you. I really feel welcome here, and I hope, um, yeah, uh, to to learn more from uh, dragons and how to transform. Maybe I have it in me. Yeah, and then and then maybe uh, there are things that my my parents have as a keepsake that is spread around the world. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, uh, the wolf's the guard... Web, robe and staff. The wolf's guard uh, spend a few more days here in Fugizia enjoying uh, the different things you can enjoy here. Um, the threat that looms over the horizon does not waver. And you soon realize that your work is not over uh, as you um, pack your bags and prepare to continue your journey uh, you look over your shoulder all onto this these aisles that seem to be paradise uh, the sun begins to set and you continue on your adventure as the wolf's guard and that's this and this is where we're going to end this session yes this oh my god i love it awesome. gg well played everyone and i hope you guys had a good time oh my god i love it so much you wait oh my god. ronan is like wait guys do i drop you off in exoria or do i just you know, like, literally right there i don't want to fly so far <laughs> <laughs> we wow. we have a teleportation circle. Yeah, to do the, our, yeah. yeah, we have yeah, a teleportation wolf, circle to the, our wolf wolf's den. Wolf's den. Oh, that's den. good. That's good. And it's like bye guys then. <laughs> <laughs> bye guys. <laughs> bye. And and, 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 and and we say it's been it's been great uh uh, uh doing doing uh things with you, Ronan. Hope to have more adventures with you. Yeah, of course. You know, 
was so much pleasure working with you. I barely missed the scale breakers, but don't tell them I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. All right. Good. Good job, guys. Uh, see you next week. We start. Oh my God! The Harlebits political. Are... You know, I love in a it. GOT. <laughs> yeah. Intriguing shit. All right. Dude, we 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 pro- protected the the whole country from having a civil war. Oh my god! Wow. I really love the. This is a vile accusation. I love it. <laughs> and then there's a trial. I love the trial that we did. Oh my god! <laughs> Good night. night. The zone of uh, truth. Stuff, Billy, the zone of truth. Lang, I'm just gonna ask Lang. Uh, I think the answer would be no, but do we level up? <laughs> oh, you don't. Um, because last session you guys got double rewards. You guys got gold and a level up. Oh yeah. So yeah. Yes. you're not getting anything here. What you got? What you got it's was okay. like story rewards. You got a vacation, a short vacation. Yeah, vacation. <laughs> I like oh, wow. And Real I got estate. my dragon wings. And I got my dragon wings. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See you. Good night. Right. Good night, who's guys. The, who's the next guest AI for the next story arc? Uh, I'm. I'm still need. I need to finalize that, pa. Here you go. Haru, it's Haru right? story, you know? It's Haru, Haru story, story but next. I'm a guest. Oh my god, what are we? What's going to happen? <laughs> It's gonna be big. It's gonna be shit. trading and interest <laughs> and loans Don't and economic. Th- please let it not be economics. <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> mafia. It's gonna be mafia it's, themed. It's gonna be foreign exchange Why? money and the interest <laughs> rates and loans. It's, go- oh it's gonna have some um, Bitcoin. <laughs> what? And um, <laughs> Ethernet. Uh, it's Ether. Good night, Ether. Good night Good guys. GG, GG. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye, right. guys. Bye bye. That was Wolf's Guard episode 8. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, much love, peace, and GG.